Stop! Please! Holy oh, shit. Hey, what's up? This is Community Service with Craig Conan. That's me. Hello? Are we rolling? We are. Oh, shit. What's up? Welcome to Community Service Podcast with Craig Conan. That's me. Anyways, I got motherfucking advertisers now. I'm making it. You're going to hear how much I made last year on this episode. So, <laughs> oh, the Lord knows I need the help. Anyways, I... uh my. My homies, I actually have done their podcast. They're awesome. It used to be called the Shit Show Podcast, and it is now called the Drake and Jimmy Jew Show. Their words, not mine. The Drake and Jimmy Jew Show. Anyways, here it goes. In a world filled with divided opinions, hate, and negativity, two complete opposites come together for the Drake and Jimmy Jew Show, formerly known as the Shit Show. Drake Peterson, a liberal gay and liberal gay of the band Irration and Jimmy Jew and Instagram celebrity and MAGA biker come together for a debauchery filled conversation <laughs> format show. Why'd you laugh at that? Debauchery? You say debauchery. Whatever, man. <laughs> That's why I left. <laughs> Check their shit out. This podcast features famous musicians, porn stars, actors, artists, politicians, social media stars, and celebrities. We know that the world is a mess, but why can't we all just get along? Ain't that the truth? I added that. <laughs> They've changed the show. Do not forget, it is no longer the shit show. It's called the Drake and Jimmy the Jew show. Turns out somebody already had the shit show and claimed copyright shit. I wish I would have done that. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, how I talk is the shit show. Past guests have included bands such as the Dirty Heads and Pepper. Comedians such as... Me, Craig Kona and Strider Wilson, celebrities, Miss America, Shanna Mochler, Chris Reed, and Candice Kukau. That's Kukul. I just said it weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Porn stars, Brad Newman and Lana Gray. Reality stars from Project Runway and Netflix Cheer uh, and Marion Millions. Miscellaneous uh, guests have been sex therapists, doctors, lawyers, nutritionists, nice, stunt writers. Find the Drake and Jimmy the Do Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all major podcast streaming services. Or visit them at their website, drakeandjimmyjew.com. That is drakeandjimmyjew.com. Thank you, guys. And then I got to plug my comedy showcase app, baby. So as you know, uh, I went in cahoots. That's a good word. I love that <laughs> word. With my homie from Dodgeball, Mark Acomb, and this other dude, Andrew, don't know his last name yet, and he's my business partner. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Anyways, it's an app. Right now, only on Apple, we're, we're mom and pop shop. Literally, Mark Acomb took five grand of his life savings, and his wife's pissed at him because he lives in an apartment <laughs> like me, and made an app, and we're just trying. Anyways, uh We've got some subscribers, and uh, we're, it's a subscription app, and a portion of the subscription goes to the comics and uh, invest in shows and specials for the comics. Right now, it's in its baby, but we're going to get big, and we're going to grow. We're going to grow. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, comics get paid. They own their material. They say when it goes up live on the app or when it gets taken down. Uh, uh, they get free analytics to see who's watching their shit. If you like stand-up comedy and supporting small up-and-coming artists who they're not famous yet, they're still just as talented as most of these famous fucks, this is the fucking app. Right now, it's only on Apple app. Soon to be Android, but we they got to make some capital back because otherwise um, Mark's wife might leave him. Because <laughs> right now, we in the negative. Anyways, comics get paid. They own their material. That's what this shit's about. Start two of the three guys on the app are artists that started it. And a comedy showcase app. Links will be on things. Now I'd also like to thank my Patreon persons. Speaking of Michael Becker, Michael Checker. He's my homie. I talked about him twice on this episode. And he subscribed to my Patreon. So God bless you, Michael Checker. And then Pablo Via 
reales, virales, virales. I'm sh- virales. I can I can roll my tongue. I'm half Mexican. <laughs> I know I'm whitewash. Anyways, thank you to my new Patreon people. If you like my podcast and want bonus material, subscribe to my Patreon. It helps me pay my rent. And if you don't want to, don't do it. It's okay. I get it. Everybody's tight around here. If you're a billionaire, just give me a million bucks, motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, today's podcast I have on uh, my good homie Patrick Quinn. He's hilarious. He's handsome. He's got tattoos on his ass like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> and uh, I didn't find out till the till the podcast that I haven't recorded yet. <laughs> Anyways, he's he's funny. He's good dude. Good comic. Uh, and that's our guest today. Thank you for tuning in. Community service podcast. Yes. This counts. Yeah. No. He's a charge, dude. That counts like a human. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? How you Chris, doing? We're already nice rolling, dude, so don't say nothing bad. You're already rolling? <laughs> Wait, can I pee real fast? No, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go pee. Are you here? Yeah. You're pointing right there. Right, pointing right there. Oh, yeah. The only opera. Bro, dude, what? <laughs> I'll look at my crystals. I won't, I won't look. Don't you judge me. I won't look. Don't you. Are we rolling? Yeah. 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 Okay. Nice. Nothing like good old. Shot of the couch for five minutes. <laughs> I like that part. I don't know why. Because it's like you see behind the scenes. Yeah. I guess what, guys? Behind the scenes is a bed. This is the whole room. This is it. <laughs> Studio podcast. You already know. Get your, your, he brought, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Cat. Get your yerba mate out of here. So he rolled up in shorts and I was, I was, <laughs> we don't have a guest today. No. What are you pooping in there? Just kidding. That's so funny. So I said to myself, get over here, Tiger. It's an obstacle course here. Yeah, just go this way. Okay. Yeah, yeah you'll knock the light over. So first of all, <laughs> first of all, bro, your oh. butt just hit my face. Well, this one is not much better. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> everybody, this is Pat <laughs> Quinn. Look at your your legs are just bigger than mine. Damn it! I shouldn't have worn shorts today. He's well, a man. He's a manly man. And look how tan they are. But then you can see right here I, where I, I stop. I, I no need to do stops. that. No need to do that. Let me see your tan line. I don't have one because I lay oh out my naked gosh, in the moon. Dude, you look beautiful. You're a golden <laughs> god. Um, so I was telling him, I was like, "Cause it's hot as fuck," and I I had the AC cranking. But uh-huh. after about thirty minutes in, I'm glad you're not allergic. Uh, uh, it'll get it'll get so hot in here. I was like, I'm wearing shorts. I don't care. And I just bought these nine ninety nine sweat shorts, bro. Oh, I like these guys. Sweat. Did you guys know about sweat shorts? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, Dude. all I've been wearing is shorts primitive. nonstop. I love primitive. I know. They're I just the got shit. these. I and got, they're yellow. I feel like it's a statement. You know. Yeah. Like I'm not I got afraid a to banana be. A butt. <laughs> <laughs> Peel me. And that's my favorite drink. Yeah. This is actually the one of the sponsors, right, of the podcast? I wish. Oh. What's up, Yerba Mate? Come on, Yerba Mate. Come on, dude. I needed a little, uh, a little pep, and I feel like this. I feel like this is a pretty good little pep. Oh no, they're the best. It's the best. It's a good little. It's the best. Cheers, man. Hi, you. What do you got there? I said hi, you. Why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. Why? Mm, hi, do, you. Hi, you. I do things like that all the time, where even me in my own head, I'm like. Why'd you do that? <laughs> oh, dude, it's all I the don't time. Know. All it's, the I time. do like to, especially to somebody who I'm like nervous to meet. Yeah. You know, then I say it and I go, "Oh God, I know they for sure heard that." But then, you, what are you gonna do? Go back and recount it? I butcher so many words, bro. I said chainsaw the other day on my story because I was trying to say chainsaw, <laughs> and then I just couldn't even spit out spit out a fucking sit. Look at oh, look at this little bow tie. I feel like chainsaw is not. I feel like that's okay. That one's Did okay. Did you keep it's it like up? A tongue twister. Chaincha. No, I pointed it out because... <laughs> but, you kept, but you kept it up on the story, though, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see? That's the difference between, I think, comedians and people who aren't comedians. Oh, let it out. We just let it go. We We're all like, fuck up. <laughs> we all fuck up. We can all admit it. And then it becomes more fun. And I think it kind of, like, gives you... A little more of like a approachable personality, you yeah. know? Because you're like okay with being like looking a little dumb. Because I got oh, lots yeah. of friends, I'll put a story up and I do I like I'll do a video. Dumb. Them. I tell you I what, think <laughs> it's the funniest thing, dude. I think it's, it's the best. Fa- I've been doing it my whole life. <laughs> but now <laughs> we just get paid <laughs> yeah. like a few bucks. Yeah. Now. It's also so funny too that people. Uh, I always say this, but like they think you're famous because you do stand up. And as you can see, when you bumped my face <laughs> with your butt, not a lot of space here, guys. This is it. 
Get into comedy. Ten years in, you'll make eight hundred dollars a month. <laughs> You're making eight hundred dollars a month. <laughs> it's funny. I make fun of that, and other comics are like, "Oh my god, how'd you do that?" I'm making eight chicken wings a month. That's dude. pretty that, good, man. It's not bad. <laughs> That's I'm, I'm, good. About, I'm about five this years in, six years in. <sighs> Remember the remember the days of just getting paid in food though? They're like, we'll get you a free meal. Oh yeah, and then we'll uh, pay for free some of your soda? gas. You got to pay for well drinks though. <laughs> but if you want a Shirley Temple, it's on me. <laughs> right here, baby. Fuck, dude. I but you know what? Now that we we don't have it, I miss it, dude. Oh, I know, I know. I would I would gladly go work for some chicken wings right now. All day, every day. All day, every Where's day. Where's it going with this? Oh, chain cha. Um, I forgot. We were going. We're still we're on going. Change well, I didn't want to interrupt. Like, we're well, ebbing like, and like, flowing. Uh, we're, uh, yeah, we are ebbing and flowing. No, because people yeah. will think that I do it on purpose, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no. They're like, oh, now you're just doing it on purpose. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, man, I can't help this dumbness, I bro. I can't. <laughs> I've been trying to fix it. I do the same type of stuff, though. Hey, is this the same place that I uh, that I picked you up for when we went to that play? I'm going to saw a play. That was time? so good. That was awesome. What was that? that That's was, all we uh, kept saying. Yeah, you Nick did. Nick Kroll. Think, Nick Kroll and, and, uh, and Jonathan, John, Mulaney, John Mulaney. Too Much Tuna. <laughs> was that and the name of it? I think so. And they put it on Netflix, and it is dog shit on Netflix. Yeah, it was really good I'll, live. I'll get to praising them. They're both beasts of comics. Oh, my gosh. He's like, hey, you want to go see John Mulaney Nick Kroll? I'll pick you up in like 40 minutes. It was very like... And I was like, yeah. And then we went the Montablon Theater. The Montablon Theater, Montablon. And it was the weirdest shit we ever saw. And I just <laughs> remembered like saying to you while it was going on, like, I don't know what I'm watching, but it is brilliant. <laughs> it was and so bizarre. It was but so it float. It was so bizarre. It was so wacky, and it flowed. And then there was it was just, there was no misses. It was just just set up punchline applaud break bam yeah. bam like it was just mike tyson haymakers the whole time and i was like oh my god i've never seen anything executed at so that good. level before they play they play together so well yeah. they're both like incredible i mean i don't think any of it was really improv it felt like it was scripted it was but a, at the same time it did feel it was, very a, it was the a, cuff. they had improvised moments within it but it was right written. yeah it was yeah, written. yeah oh that, no they kept saying too much tuna that was a tag yeah. and they kept doing it what was it called though I think too much tuna. Old people? No, so I was Anyways, super excited. You know what? Theater is one of those things. What what we saw mm -hmm. was a magical special moment that we're still talking about. I'll never forget. And then you watch it on Netflix and you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And, it, and, and I mean, I went and saw it live and live compared to Netflix. It was dog shit compared to the holy fucking grail. You know oh, what I mean? yeah. I mean, well, that's, I think you it's like, it's a lot of, sometimes it's some comics too. There's some comics you watch their special, like, eh, when you see them live, you're like, oh my God. Yeah. That guy was so good. So it's. Is it, oh, hello? Oh, oh yeah, hello. yeah. Oh, hello. Like, oh, hello. It's so hard to capture some shit on film. It mm -hmm. doesn't, like, it, it doesn't what translate. you just said. Some people are energetic, charismatic performers. Oh, do you know, you know what really translated really well though? Have you watched, uh, I can't remember what the, the name of it is, but it's Thomas Middleditch and Ben Schwartz, and they do like, an it's like an all improv thing. That translated? Because oh, improv dude. is known not, not to translate. No, but when you're there, good. it's the best thing you've ever seen in your Although, life. Although, you know what's funny is I, I watched it. I think it's only like six episodes. I loved it. But then people who had seen it live said they didn't really, they're like, oh, dude, it's so much better live. But since I hadn't seen it live and I only watched it on Netflix, I really That's liked true. it. That's true. No, no, I've... Oh, <laughs> I touched him. He's so finicky, dude. He's got like a little, uh, like a punk rock necklace, huh? Is that Vans off the wall? Yeah, <sighs> dude. Cats are so crazy, man. This guy pisses me off. If you like, just hit, pet him one second too long, he's like, nah, and he runs off. Like well, my when... shoulder touched him, and he's like, I'm done up here. <laughs> but I liked him in the shot. Can but it was like, very uncomfortable. I sent like this. I don't know if you noticed. Because I knew not to touch him. I thought he had back issues or something. <laughs> it's just huh. cat issues. Cats are like, uh, does he ever scare you? No. Oh. Okay. I scare him. No. You know, cats at night kind of freak me out. He, he, yeah, he gets a little tweakery. His cat scared me. It's cats oh, yeah? used to scare me until I got him. This is like a dog cat. He'll like bite you and claw you, but softly. You know, oh, like, yeah, like, like playing, right? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. But cat tongue. His cat, I was scared for my life. Something special about a cat tongue in there. <laughs> Dude, it hurts my nut. <laughs> a cat tongue hurts worse than a, a dog bite. <laughs> if a cat licks you, you're like, get, the, get off no, me, man. Yeah. What'd I do? It's like a little sandpaper. Every now and then he'll lick my face and I'll have a little road rash. 
yeah little scratch marks and and i i love it but his breath is foul dude you know what's crazy is back like before sandpaper was invented they used to use cats on construction sites <laughs> they they'd did? Have them, they'd have them lick the wood what? <laughs> where did they wall. keep them right next to the chain chop they just had a whole box <laughs> next to the chain <laughs> chop Bam! Bam! That's, comedy. Comedy. that's comedy baby where's my that's chicken wings bring it back. where's my eight chicken wings <laughs> pay Can this I man get a charlie temple pay this I man <laughs> Nothing <laughs> <laughs> but high brown comedy here, folks. Hello, get chain cha, chain cha. <laughs> oh man, what's well, new with you, bro? Fuck the government. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're already there. Fuck we're there. already there. Fuck you, man. I'm wearing chain cha shorts. <laughs> Sweat shorts. Chain chas and cat sandpapers, dude. Sweat shorts, man. Those are nice. I gotta get a pair of primitives. Check these guys out. But those look are at, probably forty inside, bucks, dude. right? Look I don't that. need it. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Once again, I want you just to see the whole package. We don't, get, I don't see what I'm working with. You. Uh, I got them on sale. I, th- I think I got them for like thirty dollars. Nine ninety nine. They're already. Oh, l- trust me. The rest of mine. Balling and and uh, so uh, <laughs> you know you get what you pay for, but nine ninety nine. Well, listen, I've worn man. them six times. I haven't washed them once. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw something on there. No, man, you got to go with like f- for shorts. I think I oh I have a bunch of these ones too. They're like the ninety nine, like even less than that. I got some five ninety niners at the house. What? But where do now, you get those at? Max TJ Max, baby. That's where I got these. I got one at TJ Max and one at Ross. Same. I mean, in the end. It's Maybe same, Marshall. It's the same damn place. Yeah, but the Beverly Connection has all three and Nordstrom's Rack. I know. I don't remember where I got what, what from where. That sounds like a poor person's dream, dude. I got. I got to <laughs> head over there. Is <laughs> you just walk in there with like twenty bucks? People are like, oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> no, he got a new face. <laughs> we need inventory. Wow. We gotta call the suppliers. <laughs> Bring in the clothes, dude. <laughs> he bought art and shorts. <laughs> What the fuck? Dude, one he time I bought- got a tape measure for six bucks. A Stanley. <laughs> they got good tools there. They got good deals. Dude, if you buy art from those places, that's the best, man. Cause like, And if you can fake it, is that it? Yeah. That looks good. You can make it look nice, dude. That's $40, bro. You got a trick. Took me over. nine hours and 18 holes and pencil marks <laughs> to get that level. I can see the pencil level. marks way yeah. high above yeah, it. Get the pencil marks above it, yeah, Chris. Put that in oh, there. Oh, God. That, that, that is way <laughs> harder than it looks. Hey- if you think you can eyeball that shit, Mm-mm. you are mistaken. No, sir. You need the little, you little need chalk flap levels thing. and pencil. Oh, the chalk. Have you seen that thingy? Thing. I had one little of those. string and you. Slap <laughs> I did construction for about four months of my life. I was a man. Let's get into it. I used dude. to have legs like you. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, I've haven't been doing anything except for just trying to work out at my house now. I work out like every day. That's awesome, bro. I know. I work out at being depressed and watching conspiracy videos. Oh, you think Things I'm not in the same boat, going bro? Good. <laughs> <laughs> I work through my... I'm just like, oh, I hate everything. I try and push it away, but... Uh, dude. It's been rough, man. It's been rough. We're all feeling it. And the whole world... Oh, I'll tell you why I said fuck the government. Mm-hmm. So I finally broke and went to buy CBD because... My my care by design connect. They used to go to the comedy store and give me uh, samples, you know. Mm-hmm. And as we all know, this the world fucking shut down, so no mm-hmm. more samples. So yeah, uh, CBDBs, care by design, fantastic. Help with anxiety. Kind of need some right about now, but uh, you know they're they're shut down. They're limited. Everything's limited. And then so I was like, fucking, I'm gonna go buy some. Mm-hmm. I went to fucking Medmen. I walked in. The motherfucking vial was ninety dollars. First of all, thank you, Care by Design. Jesus Christ, you know I did not realize how expensive this shit was, <laughs> uh, and I was just abusing it too. I was like, whoop, bloop, 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 you know, <laughs> <And> the eyeballs. <laughs> yep, yep. My <laughs> urethra needs to <a> drop. <laughs> <laughs> I think I masturbated with the oil once. Absolutely oh my God, not. Such a chill. It fucking was such jerk a off. waste. <laughs> I know my dick was hungry. Oh God, just like, <laughs> he's yeah, like, he's like, where's the cereal, bro? <laughs> <laughs> You got any cinnamon toast crunch? <laughs> let's just cuddle. Your dick's like, let's just cuddle, bro. Wow. Stop beating me. I'm not even hard anymore. Just give me some ice cream. <laughs> you got any sandwiches? You get, do you get munchies from CBD? No. Maybe. Maybe, maybe a when bit. you abuse it like I yeah. did. <laughs> Don't drink, drink a whole bottle. bottle. You get a headache. It's <laughs> Take a whole bottle down. You're going to need something to, to eat with it. Yeah. So I went down to MedMen. I walked in. I didn't have cash. And then on top of the 30%, that's why I originally said fuck the government. 30% tax, they're like 28%, sorry. Uh, 
Did you know that? Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous, dude. Dude. It's ridiculous. What the fuck? And then uh, he, and then he's like, oh, if you pay card, it's a, it's a three dollars uh, service fee. And I was like, fuck. Because they can. And then I got dude. mad and I walked out and I didn't buy it. But then I got home and I did some research and my buddy said, get these uh, CBD flower joints. And I mm-hmm. was like, and I looked them up. They're only thirty bucks. Nice online. You can buy them online. Well, no, yeah, you can look at the menu. But I oh, still, you went back I went store. in cash because I didn't. I was like, they ain't charging me three bucks if they're. Anyways, yeah, dude, it's they cool. ain't getting my three bucks. <laughs> you already $3, getting nine, baby. That's my three. And I bought these little uh, flower joints, uh, CBD though, no, no mm-hmm. THC. And I was so happy because I was like, oh, it's gonna taste like we. I was a stoner for seventeen years. I miss it, bro. Yeah, especially right now with this fucking. War- uh, Jesus Christ! I threw up a little in my mouth right there. <laughs> Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> I got heckled by my own throw up. Um, You're just talking about going back to the store. Oh, so I was just super excited because I was like, oh my God, it's going to taste like weed and it's going to calm me down and reduce anxiety and I'm not going to get high. I'm safe in the sober department, you know? And then I fucking buy it. I get ripped off. It doesn't work like Care by Design did, mm-hmm. the pills and the droplets yeah. and the vapes. And then it tastes like cigarette. So I was like... Oh, it tastes like tobacco? Yeah. And then I, I, I'm an addict, so there's four joints. I was like, ooh, I'll make this last. I smoked two of them in like 14 minutes. And uh, <laughs> I think I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and I hated it, and it didn't work, and it tastes like shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the, the cigarette, like the joint ones, that, that they can't do that. You can't make like CBD flour. Cause I remember I, somebody told me about that, and I was like researching it and trying to look it up. Well, I just I think it's like more of like a gimmick. I do know one sober Sally I met in Vegas. I ain't gonna name him, but he told me where to go and what exact one to buy because he is uh, he's like 17 years sober and he same shit. But he's like, dude, it's so hard to find, and uh, you know, out of 20, I'll like two. You know. Yeah. So he told me where yeah. to get it, but it's in Las Vegas, and I'm like, I'm Worth it, in dude. Los Let's go Angeles. Right now. Let's that, do a road podcast. Let's that drive to get your CBD spot in Venice. Well, dude, listen, not, I'm not trying to plug anything, but my buddy and I are starting a little CBD company, and it's it's great stuff. And I'll send you some of it. I'll get you some good stuff. I please do. Just put my I've phone. been smoking a lot over this break too. This is what weed was meant for. This I'm is exactly 100% what it's meant sober for. and I do not smoke weed, but I'm let me tell you. The pandemic is meant for marijuana. I put it I put mm-hmm. it put it out there. It's a lot oh, better dude. than any pills the fucking government or the the uh what is that called? Medical what's the healthcare system will give you? Hey, don't smoke weed, but here's some benzos. Dude. Would you like to shake while it's kicking like them? Like you have MS? <laughs> then take benzos. <laughs> That's what they do. It's fucking nuts. I, this world's They'll so nuts. They'll pass out anything. If you go to the doctor and you say, oh, like, oh I need this. Like, don't oh give God. your child non-psychoactive CBD, but here's some five milligram Oxycontin. Slow released. Make a little heroin junkie out of your boy. Here you go. Government approved. Why am I talking like that? <laughs> I liked it. It was soothing, dude. I was like, maybe I will get some. I'm saying jokes, but those are what's facts. The, what's the relaxing, what's the pill for like Adderall? Adderall. Now that's the crazy Here, one, dude. your six-year-old is hyper because he's a fucking six-year-old. Give him speed. It'll because calm he's him regular. Down. Make a tweaker out of him by the time he hits puberty. <laughs> that's what we do, America. That's what we fucking do. I love it, dude. Craig's just he off the bat, bro. He wants to go hardcore at the government right now. I'm, I'm with it. I, I want to hear. I want to hear what your thoughts. I'm getting are. one pistol in one week. Come at me. <laughs> are you getting a pistol? <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Craig's got a gun. Are you getting one? You getting a gun? No. Oh <laughs> shit, dude. Oh. Glock 19, bitches. 10 round capacity because California ain't got no nuts, you little pussy ass state. Woo! You got to go shoot that it's thing in a range. 15 plus one in other states. I know. I know. Have you, have you been range shooting? I'll shoot my foot off. <laughs> I'll shoot, shoot your my eye out. Government, come get me. Are you too late? I already shot myself. <laughs> this is the highest year for gun sales uh, ever. Oh, I noticed. I noticed. I always wanted one and I never got one because I was a drug addict and dark mind and whatnot, you know? <laughs> <laughs> But now I'm like, all right, I'm fucking almost seven years sober. The world's on fire and uh, pandemic and riots. Let me get a gun. Jump in there and have a little fun, bro. Um, <laughs> Pop it yeah, off. Yeah, man. Dude. 
Give me that CBD. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they should do. When you get a gun, you should be also prescribed CBD at the same time. Make you think, think your decisions through a little bit more. Agreed. You know? <laughs> yeah, California does not make it easy, dude. Dude, I would be too afraid to have a to have a gun, I think. I would be I wouldn't even I would be so strict on it that I wouldn't even <laughs> let my No, because I've listen, I'm from Ohio, bro. We used to shoot guns like at one point, bro. Oh, yeah, I re- we were I shooting that. shotguns in a basement, dude. Like <laughs> I shouldn't even say that out loud. And well, like we, we just that's we did some why I waited shit. till I was thirty six to get one. <laughs> you don't this think I get dragon year. fire bullets and shoot it in my own home? <laughs> I used to play fireball by the time I was eight or nine or whatever. I feel like you were a dude who would who would sh- do the the uh, little uh, what's the little it's shooting not loaded, the- bro? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! I had a dude in Akron one time. Somebody tried to fight me at a bar, and I was like, I just walked away, and my buddy was like, he was drunk, and he's a little more hardcore. He goes, no, bro, nobody messes with my friends. I'm going to my trunk. And like he starts walking to his car, and I was like, what does what does going to your trunk even mean? So I chase him down. I'm like, hey, man, it's all good. And he just reaches in his glove box and pulls out a gun. And I was like, you're going to shoot a dude for trying to like fight me at a bar? Like it's not. As I push him in the car, I'm like, let's just go. And he's in the front seat, and he was driving. He saw his gun. Alcohol. And he was, and he was like... Bro, I was going to shoot that dude for you. <laughs> and he was like waving his gun at my head. And I was like, you're going to shoot me, dude. You're going like, to kill me. You're going to kill someone in this situation. you're a dum-dum. No, that's why I waited so long. I knew. It's scary. I knew. You don't think I'm going to hold it all the time? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just going to sneak next to it? If I was 17, 18, 19, yeah, 25, <clears throat> get home from Hermosa Beach, coked up, you guys want to see my gun? <laughs> you don't think that would have happened every night? <laughs> That's why I didn't get one. I was like, I'll die. I think I would accidentally, be... Accidentally, s- though. Accident. Maybe just not. pop it off in your, <laughs> in your shorts or something. Darkness is upon us. <laughs> what? I wouldn't even pull my gun out when there was an intruder. That's how strict I would be. I'd be like too... That's af- the time to have But it. I would be too afraid. I'd be like, is this dude? Like, let's just see what he's trying to do. You know what I mean? If he's going to hurt me... I mean, I'm halfway joking, but I'm also kind of like halfway... Just like, low. Shoot him in the dick. <laughs> just take his <laughs> knees out. Yeah, dick shot. Why don't they were just? Why don't the cops do that, dude? Like, if you really feel like you need to shoot somebody, why don't they just shoot him like in the leg or something and stop them? Uh, or like slow them down. They're not trained that way. Good point. It's a good point. Headshots, heart shots. <laughs> That's headshot, really heart, what they every time. Every headshot, time. heart shot. Every time. I saw you at a protest the other day. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was nice. I saw this one video. Oh, I can't even talk about it. This motherfucker had his shirt off, hands in the air, and they shot him in his gut. Oh, <clears throat> anyways, us, I can't think Dude, of that shit. It's too sad right now. Too much. There's so. Isn't it crazy how much stuff has happened in 2020? It's almost as if like we're this, like culminating it as it keeps on going. Yeah, I can't wait for the aliens to get here. Somebody else told me that the other day, and I was like, "Dude, they're here, bro." Yeah, the aliens are here, but if they're gonna, yeah, they're be our politicians. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking no, soulless I don't want them to cucks. be politicians. They want them to be cool. <laughs> yeah. That's true. You know, I want them to walk want, like, up and be like, check this out. Yo, dude, let me turn on your third eye. You're like, that's my dick. <laughs> Why am I getting hard? Why am I ejaculating? <laughs> Why am I coming everywhere? It feels amazing. Oh, shit, this alien. Uh, this alien's got tits. <laughs> wow. Fuck. It's all, it's all reptilian, but it's wet, ain't it? I mean. Hit it. Okay, we're good. That's, that's a little weird here. <laughs> it's getting a little weird here. Uh, I was going to keep it going. And Craig like, theoretically yeah, fucked probably... a reptilian uh, alien. <laughs> Pretty sure Greg's tits. into fucking unreal creatures right now. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. But you, do you think, on the real though, do you think you could have sex with an alien if it was... I mean, do they even have genders is the first question. Does it look remotely like a woman and That's have the qu- a wet orifice? <laughs> then yes. <laughs> 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 if it doesn't, then no. Does it breathe? No. I, you know, I gotta gotta turn me on. I can't just be. Gotta see at least like one alien to yeah, gotta, just like a single. T- yeah, a some unibu- Total Recall three titties. You know, Ooh. they got some Total Recall tits. I mean, if we're going hey. that way. Hey, where am I going to put it in between? Over here, over here. I don't know. Hey, I'm hey. going to put the middle one and leave the two on the sides and bap them against the side <laughs> ones. <laughs> I'm getting canceled in my own living room right now by myself. Hey, did oh, you, God. Dude. My managers are just like, you You fuck Total Recall tits <laughs> and a reptile within two minutes. They can feel it right now. They're like, something doesn't feel right. It's crazy. He's talking about three titties. He's like, talking about I know three it. titties. I know it. Sensitive ass, pussy ass, cancel culture. I got three titties for you. I got three dicks. People can have three nuts. Two what? dicks. I got two. I got a double dick for the three tits. 
I saw a porn once with a dude with a double dick. He had two boners at the same time. Oh, dude. That's so weird, man. Oh, it was, hila- it was hilarious, dude. Shark has two dicks. Me and my Shark. sister. We oh, yeah. <laughs> so do possums. They do? Yeah. They have like a little split dick. Wow. Talk about double action. <laughs> <laughs> double impact. Starring Tom the Possum. Oh, my God. Why am I staring at my dresser for so long? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm Look back. at your cat house dude i know are you just dude, continuing I, to add on I, to that thing I was <laughs> that is massive bro I, I know i fucked i'm up, pretty sure right. that's bigger than your apartment that's I'm, like i make bad decisions the cat tree represents 25 percent of the real estate in my home i wish <laughs> i wish that was a joke dude that thing is big you gotta, you gotta get a slide for the cat to go down from the top now that would be something cool yeah does he go to that top one ever and just sit up there once it's probably scary up there. For he the mainly cat. goes on the tier to the pull-up bar that I never use. Oh, uh, right there. To wax his little ribbons and, and twisty ties I set up. He scratches his gums on there. He's a cute. His his tongue, you mean. He just He's sanding it down. Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, did I, I see you say? had a... Uh... Was... What? Oh, what were you going to say? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> did I see that you, that you, you were doing some shows recently? I did Minnesota. Yeah, how was that? Minnesota. Oh, What's I went with Zane like? Helberg. I remember what I was going to say now. Mm. This wasn't it. I Love forgot Zane. that thing. But Zane, <laughs> I was getting a gun, and he's like, for what? To protect your home? Who is coming in here? There's nothing to steal. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. Because the TV is <clears throat> 10 years old and from my neighbor. <laughs> the, com- <laughs> the computer is eight years old and looks valuable, but it's actually a fossil. Does it work? Does it run? It does work. It All works. right. I mean, that's a pretty nice triptych. We already went over that. I mean, I like how everything in here is pretty, like, dude. And then you have, like, the most, like, glorious little mirror set up right here with, like, a little mirror above it, too. So, it just looks like it would be in the Titanic. It's a glory hole mirror. <laughs> the top's a little glory hole. You spawned that. You said glory or something. Hey, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, dude. It's just, like, you know, it's like. What was the club like? Like where people, oh, it, like, was, it was good. They they did it. Uh, they did it right, you know. Uh, according to this pussy pandemic, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, they were very very limited capacity. <clears throat> they spaced everybody out. You're supposed to wear a mask. So it was great for comedy and laughter. Oh God, oh. dude. No, but they they you know they for fucking sanitizing. Uh, they they made you wear your mask if you weren't eating or drinking but mm-hmm. you know people didn't really follow that but uh it's the room sat like 400 and max capacity they're allowing is 150 oh that's cool so it's All scattered right. and it's pretty scattered it was as safe as it could be you know mm-hmm. uh even though 99 percent of people heal damn dude we got a doubter in the house bro <laughs> i can feel it we got a mate are you wait where, where are you from again are you orange county no, right here. You're from L.A.? Yeah. Well, oh. Torrance, Lomita. Oh, bro, you're South L.A., dude. That's like... I know. It doesn't count, but it's still L.A. <laughs> you, can't, you can't claim it, dude. Well, You're I, a Torrance well, boy. Well, you actually know the area. If I tell anybody <laughs> not kidding. from here, I'm, That's cool. I'm from uh, Torrance and Lomita, a nice little tweaker town near Harbor City. You heard of it? They go, no. And then I go, L.A. And they go, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, I know that now. Um, well, or- I was in Orange County the other day, and nobody there believes in masks. Nobody believes in any of this is real. I wore a mask. Everybody was staring at me. Dude, okay. Mm-hmm. I believe this this virus is real and mm-hmm. people are dying. I also believe that the media is bullshit and they, uh, it's a fear factory and they just constantly beef up numbers. And I've also seen way too many doctors talk against. And on top of this, these motherfuckers on TV go back and forth every other fucking day. Why are yeah. we still holding them <clears throat> credible when they go masks don't work? And then the next day, mask work. Mm -hmm. Well, why did you say it didn't work for two months? And why does it say it doesn't work on on the box that it comes in? It says that on the box you have? On the on the on the on the bullshit mask that I have. Like, hang on. It's just like some pieces of construction paper that Craig bought. (laughs) It's two (laughs) posts. On these masks, it says it doesn't work against viral infection. You have to have an N ninety five. And there's even some doctors that say like the only mask that truly protect you 100% is straight, like, gas masks. That I saw a co- I've not. seen a few dudes wearing those, and it's yeah. fucking hilarious, dude. 
I saw I, an old man just walking down town. Like we could tell it was too heavy for his neck. <laughs> and he was like trying. And I was like, oh, it made me so sad. But also like I laughed, you know? Yeah. I don't know, dude. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> the, I was reading something. I read something the other day or I was watching something. But they were just displaying like the value of each mask as it kind of went up, you know? And so I think these, it still helps curve, you know? Like it, it like protects some of it. But when you're talking, a lot of your spit can still get through. Yeah, and like double layers does that. I like mean, I have one and I I wear it. I'm mm -hmm. in, in when I'm supposed to. But if yeah. I'm outside, and I I did do some research on this. I was listening to NPR, and they said the the so scientists and doctors said the odds of us right here right now is pretty good odds. But uh, outside <laughs> with air and oxygen and fucking, <laughs> it's just pretty much astronomical. You, the odds of you getting it it is mm. airborne but like outside it just kind of doesn't happen you know what i mean yeah yeah but indoors in the store and the whatnot and and it's just i don't know dude it's hard i mean you're right it's hard to know what to believe because everything is Every so back and forth and it's very hypocritical but i don't know i, I think it's just like they're just continuing to learn stuff about it and who that knows? is also true in it but it's just like any the the thing that made me uh once again, I know this virus is real and people are dying. I wanted to state that. I just don't think it's as bad as it is. You think it's hyped a little bit? Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's con it's proven all the time. It's just like there's so many. The people I believe are not mainstream doctors. Mm -hmm. People that go on their YouTubes and Facebooks and Instagram and be like, hey, dude, these medicines are kicking its butt. And uh, don't be so scared. Only, you know. 1% of people are dying and then they're 73 plus diabetic. You know what I mean? If you're not in those categories, you're fine. Yeah. And then, you know, the asymptomatic people, a lot of them are saying like, we don't spread it. If you do are that, it's just, I don't know what to believe. I just hate it. I hate it all. I hate it too. Because, because everything, you just, we have no idea when it's going to end. We have no idea if we're safe. I do think that I, th I think in the end, it's just people who obviously, have pre-existing conditions yeah you know? obviously i don't want to kill anybody right and especially my parents that are old as fuck and, i know dude i'm going to see my know. parents this week and I'm, I'm afraid i'm gonna get into cleveland and then i think i'm gonna yeah but you gotta see your family i mean if they, like i just <clears throat> i don't know i don't even know i don't want to kill them but i love them and i want to see them get a gas mask get a gas mask just put a gas mask on don't give her a hug even though she sprouted you out of your wee wee you ungrateful fuck out of your wee wee? What? She spotted you out of your wee wee. Did I say that? Yeah. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up. Charge him. What'd you say it again? What was the thing? Ching chong. What? You forget about this already? Chain chaw. Chain chaw. Chain chaw. Yeah, Chain definitely chaw. not what you said. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> you said something racist. Oh shit! Did I? <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I was trying to repeat whatever he said. <laughs> Let's go back. It's canceled. I'm out. It's I'm canceled. screwed. Now I'm screwed. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was funny. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just so, it's all fucking. I the don't media. know. Yeah, it's dude. scary, dude. Watch the media. Watch all of it. Oh, it's I just, watch a lot of it. Exactly. I had to stop. I had to stop. It's, it's too just, much. Why aren't they covering other shit? Why aren't they, why aren't they promoting how to boost your immune system? Why are they showing the one healthy guy that died? They're blasting that 49 times and not focusing on the 99% people recovered. Why aren't they telling you to take fucking vitamin C and vitamin D, which is known to help you not die if you get it? Mm -hmm. Why aren't they telling you to go in the sun? Because it's fucking the media. It's corporate. It's just corporate rule. It's bullshit. Yeah. Why I mean, there's, Why aren't they telling you the people that are dying are fuck? It's a nursing home. I, like all the doctors I watched, they said it's it's basically a nursing home. Yeah, a lot of old people. disease. The old mm -hmm. people are dying. Yeah, but I, I love old I, people. But, but I, hey, that's what they do. They're old. <laughs> it's fucked up. I know I sounded real fucked up, but it's just like they're in nursing homes and they're on diabetic. They're on dialysis. They're on this. They're on that. They were on their way out. I don't want them to die, and I don't want to kill them. But I'm just saying, that's who's really dying. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's part of why they keep freaking us out, is just to keep people who, with these conditions or in their older age safe. So if we're afraid, we're going to protect them more. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to wear masks if we fear for our own safety versus somebody else's. That's just like, somebody made a tweet, and it was like they, they messed up by saying that masks protect other people than rather than protecting themselves 
you know, because yeah. a lot of people are just very selfish. So now they're like, oh, I'm going to walk around without a mask. And like, and that's all these, all these fight videos happen and all this shit, which I honestly, I enjoy. I enjoy seeing somebody wa- try to walk into a Walmart and then get clotheslined with no mask on. <laughs> I think it's great, dude. I love it. It's it like, is funny. It's it great. is good it's entertainment. Awesome. I'll give you that. And now we got some real, we like, we've exposed the Karen culture, which is kind of fun too. So like people want to, that like, is very entertaining. I, I guess entertaining. what I get so angry about is, uh, the way we're battling coronavirus. Why aren't we battling everything like that? You know what I mean? Why aren't we battling racism like that? World hunger. Mm-hmm. How about the half a million children yeah. that go missing in America every fucking year? Yep. That's not on CNN. There's no tally for that shit. Yep. There, you know what I mean? that fucking uh all this shit I mean, there's a, there's a million so, there's a million things the tuberculosis <clears throat> that killed what f- 51 million i don't know you got to google that shit but tuberculosis swine flu all this shit killed so many people and it was never covered they're covering this because they want to cover this it's that's it what happened to murder hornets what happened to murder hornets they're gone dude that was like a big thing for a second. <laughs> and then also in coronavirus came, they're like, Psh, just put the murder hornets away yeah, for a little bit. Just like, Let's put them away till next year. Like, in the beginning, I thought this virus was complete bullshit because as my childhood, the killer bees are coming to kill you. Mm-hmm. Never came. Uh, 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 Ebola is coming <clears throat> to kill you. Never came. You know, everything was yeah. supposed to kill you. Never came. Yep. During my dad's child, it was the Cold War, the nuclear war. We're going to die. It never happened. That was a little scary, though. Measles. <laughs> Measles. Measles. Polio. Uh, polio. It, polio the, was a big what, one. How many? Last year, 10 million people fell ill from tuberculosis, and 1.5 million died. There you go. 1.5 million people died of p- tuberculosis. Last year? Yeah. Well, did you see that on the fucking news? Was there a TB count? A TB shutdown? How many people died of coronavirus? Uh, so far, it's been... There's like... What is there, like... F- I guess that's my whole point. If you want to fight this shit like this, okay, why aren't we fighting all things evil? Corruption. Well, for, well for, for tuberculosis, we have a cure, right? We don't have anything yet for corona. I think they're more worried about what's going to happen long term if we don't find a cure immediately. I don't know, dude. I'm not a doctor. I'm afraid to even. I'm not either. All I know is the shit I read is like point, fucking two percent people. But that's die. the other thing. You can read whatever you want right now, and you can find something to back up what you want to believe. It's so crazy. So there are 14.8 million confirmed cases in the world so far, and 612,000 deaths. Yeah, that's not 612, good. 612,000. But lot also people. too, that I've. Uh, I don't know how far you want to go down this rabbit hole, but. I saw uh, politicians and CDC who people at press conferences saying like, if you die of dementia and you're 92, but you had COVID, mm. they counted as COVID. Yeah, I heard you about could that too. You could get shot, hit by a bus. If you have COVID, it's count as COVID. And then yeah. there's kickbacks from the government to encourage such this. That's exactly so why, the, yeah. The numbers aren't even accurate. Obviously, I don't want anyone to fucking die. You know, I like cats and plants and shit. I'm pro-life, but it's just like also pro-choice. Women. <laughs> and uh, you choose what you want to do, ladies. And then, um, but it's just like, I don't, I basically what I'm getting at is I don't just, I don't trust anything anymore. I and know. that sucks because for sure I don't trust that mainstream fucking media. That propaganda bullshit. You know, we should go back to talking about Chain Cha. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to Chain Cha. It was pretty you fun. That, was, that was a fun little... Well, we, I just wanted to see where you're at with it, you know? You fuck. I only asked how, <laughs> you how your shows were in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I know. I mean, it's, it's it, the thing Where's is, is you can't, you can't avoid it. You can't my... avoid the topic, dude. You can't avoid <laughs> no, it. I know. It's, it's too it's, much right now. It's like the only thing going on. Everyone's <laughs> lives are ruined. I had to cancel. I, this was like my biggest year for travel. I had to cancel like six trips, dude. I had to so cancel bummed. the only tour I've ever had in my life. I got two cities out of it. Damn. All right, you win, dude. No, it's it. it yeah, you know. No, it, everyone, everyone's, everyone yeah. suffered. I was supposed to go to to Barcelona for work, dude, to host this thing for like a week. Nice. Hey, it's gonna uh, be sweet. Here's <clears> something <throat> funny and positive. 
Okay. So I got followed by the Power Rangers account on Twitter. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, the Power. I watched them. I watched them in <laughs> VR Troopers. I was more a VR Troopers fan. I don't know why. I, I always fucking loved VR Troopers, yeah. bro. <laughs> it was so good. What was the other one? There was three of them. There was Power Rangers, VR Troopers, and then like Beetleborgs or like. Was that yeah. Beetleborgs? Yeah. I don't remember wow, that. Wow, dude. Beetleborgs. I always remember like there's SNL and Mad TV. I watch Mad TV. Oh, I was an There's SNL guy. Power Rangers and VR Troopers. I watch VR Troopers. Like I don't know why I always went for the bootleg yeah, of it, yeah, but I, li- I liked it way more. Cereal, boy. Always, yeah, dude. And and come to find out, that was you, right? Didn't you tell me that? <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, he was time, working for Power Rangers. At the time, or some I was shit. working for Power Rangers. He's like, I'm gonna follow Craig, but didn't tell me. So I was like, Whoa, Power Rangers <laughs> followed me. They're verified. Uh, so f- I miss those days, dude. It was so fun to like. Cause what a weird show to work for. So once in a while, I just go and I'd be like. Craig. <laughs> and <just> like, well, <laughs> <laughs> when the improv would give me a uh, would host there, Hollywood Improv, and they'd be like, here, you know, take over our social media and and log in and 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 film the show, you know, bringing up the famous fuck. And I would always unfollow comics I hated and then follow <laughs> comics I liked. I'd be like, bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, bloop, for, bloop. With, with their phone. Fo- yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you get for being an asshole. <laughs> Improv them followed you. And I know they were like, why'd they unfollow me? They used to follow oh, they so ruined funny. their universe. <laughs> it was me. Did you follow me from there? Me. They started following me like maybe like eight months ago, nine months ago. Was that you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That's pretty nice. It feels nice when you when you DM with with the improv or with the comedy store or something. You're like, hey, what's up? And they're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's, like, just oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you it's just the hostess. It's just an special. intern or a host. <laughs> it's just somebody <laughs> seat in the room, and I don't even know who you are. <laughs> oh, life's, uh, life's great. Life is great, man. Life's great. What what else is positive in your life going on right now? You what know, you've you been working on anything fun. You been doing anything cool? Yeah, I got an internet show tonight. <laughs> dude, how bad are they, man? They're, They're pretty I hate bad, them. I hate them. I got a chariot. Oh, I got Phoenix this weekend. How did I not plug that? Arizona, I'm coming July 23rd through 26th. And then I got a show uh, the 29th at Disneyland. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, at a hotel near Disneyland. Sorry, not at oh. Disneyland. Why would I say You just said like Magic Kingdom? Yeah. That's Disney World. I used, you know a funny story? That's how I first got to Los Angeles was an internship at Disneyland. Nice. Were yeah. you a prince? No, I, I wish I would have been. I worked in the chicken nugget department. I had to wear, <laughs> oh, that's way worse. I had to wear a bow tie every day. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I had to sit in there and there was, there was only three options. It was chicken nuggets, mozzarella sticks, or fish. fish well, sticks. you got to go with chicken. Well, that's the thing, dude. Nobody can ever make up their mind. I'm like, it's literally there's three options, dude. And they'd be like, I don't know which one. There's a whole line. I'm like, I got, I got hours of this, dude. Just hours of people being like, I don't know, chicken nuggets or the fish sticks. I'm like, come back, maybe come back later and get wow. it again. I was one of those people. There's too many options. Just there's give me three. One. I don't like options. Just have one, one thing at each shop, but there's a hundred shops then instead. Just yeah. like a hundred different yeah, little restaurants. Better. Yeah, that's, that's. I'm gonna go chicken I'm nugget open land. I'm gonna my own theme park, and that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> no rides. No rides. <laughs> just all, just a bunch of individual it's restaurants. One shops for a hundred and one items. <laughs> this is fried cheese. Okay. That's the fried, fried tea, tea store. <laughs> you said teas. I heard it. Oh, you wanted a drink? You got to go to Coke Land or Mountain yeah. Dew Land. You got to go to Powerade-ville. <laughs> 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 now we're talking. Now we're talking. I now. almost just said how cool would it be if like the rides were, if you were like on like the Jungle Disney Cruise, you know, and you could just dip your cup in and it was like a sea of Powerade. And I was like, that'd be a sweet idea for a theme park. For malaria. <laughs> That'd be a sweet idea for dysentery. Wow, dude, I can't believe you just shot my idea down. I was going to see if you want to go in half and half on it. So now I'll you're do not, it. No, I'll you're out, do dude. I'll you're out already. I'm gonna I know get, it's a bad idea, but I'm down. <laughs> I'm probably just going to get Willy Wonka because I realize that's exactly what Willy Chocolate Wonka did. Oh, that's yeah. just a Willy Wonka world. Augustus. Mm. Augustus Galoop. Augustus Galoop. I thought it'd be pretty funny if Willy Wonka was just uh, everything there instead of like candy was just all drugs. He was just like a crackhead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just he's like, hey, welcome to my world. And he's just whacked out. I'm like, <laughs> come here and try the Molly Bush. The Molly Bush. Like, you know, in the beginning when he falls and does a somersault, he would just fall on his face. And everyone's like, and then just blood everywhere. Up, and he knocks his teeth out. <laughs> like, oh, Willie's, 
Well, he's just trying to kick heroin on methadone. Don't mind him. <laughs> He'll be back to it in no time. He thinks he's floating. Oh, the bubbles. I don't know what I'm talking about at the end there, but... Was, I thought I thought I was going somewhere with it, and then no, I, just, I gave I gave up. Let's make plants. At, let's let's name stuff in Willy Wonka. That's the game. So okay. this is the okay. cocaine candy drops. <laughs> you just sniff the wall. These are this you, is and you 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 get horny, but your dick don't get hard. <laughs> <laughs> Willy, why are you talking to the kids this way? Okay, too. This weird. is We're the uh, bleep that part. This is the methamphetamine cotton candy. And when you eat it, your teeth fall out twice as fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the weed. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that a fart? <laughs> is that you? Is it the it's cat? The, cat. Oh. the weed. The weed. The weed plant. Oh, that already exists. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of ideas. This is the weed leaf. Uh, seems pretty normal. Yeah. Except it's sprinkled with cocaine. Cocoa puff. Cookie. Cocoa puff. Cookie. Cocoa puff. <coughs> you ever Dude, smoke my... weed with cocaine? No, I can't. I can... Oh, it's the shit, man. Really? Your whole what is this good? Do? Numb. Just it's a, a cocoa just... puff. Mm. Isn't you're smoking like, cocaine? Re- isn't you're that... like relaxed, but jacked, you know, and just like. Oh, man. I don't know if I like that, dude. Yeah, it sounds nice. like a battle in your mind. It's so good. Really? And your whole face is just like, you can't feel it? Just lip goes numb. Mm. It's a primo. No, Ooh. No, no. Numbness, man. No, no, nobody this... have, have too much coke, too much weed. You sprinkle a little in the doobie. And then you, you smoke your friends out and you don't tell them. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You're supposed to be sober. What? <laughs> <laughs> How's your face feel, Tom? <laughs> it's my first time smoking weed. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how was you're right in the mix of it when everything was going down, huh? For that first night of the of the riots. Ooh, that I was drove exciting. through here. It was crazy. That was exciting. I should have called you. I, I was walking out getting photos. It was... I wish I had a cocoa puff. <laughs> yeah, that was that was crazy. Dude. Crazy times. I saw somebody running in and like just rob. Did you just want to run in there too? People were just like running in like that the, made dude, me all sad. Of, it actually did. It made but me I, sad too. But at the same time, I was like, oh, like a pair of shoes would be sick. You know, I couldn't do it, but like, I wanted yeah. to. I was just sad because it was small businesses. Yeah, it like, it's really sad. It's a bummer. Those corporations, I would have been put on a mask. Be like, <laughs> well, I, H&M. need some, I need some hemorrhoid cream, CVS. <laughs> that shit's 13 bucks. Yeah, you can't God. pay full price for that. Yeah. Well, we, we, I went to the Santa Monica protest when all the, like, the riots happened, that one. And we would just chase. It was kind of cool. Like, if somebody broke into like a business, we would chase them out. Yeah, that's They'd like fun. smash the window and we're like, get out of there. And then they got out. I would thoroughly, I love what Fat Sal's did. Well, they do. They armed up and they defended Fat Sal's and, and kicked everyone out. Damn, dude. I can't imagine people really going to rob Fat Sal's. Were they going to take some frozen patties? It was just a time patties? where just everyone was just breaking Anything. in and burning shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Isn't that crazy? That I like understand ago. all sides of it, though. So yeah. fuck anybody that doesn't. Mm-hmm. It's like, why are they burning and looting and this and that? Hey, uh, you know, when your people are getting murdered yeah. and nobody's paying for it and they just go back to work and keep doing it, mm-hmm. how are you going to feel about that? And and it's caught on camera. And, you know, a lot, of, you know, I've already said this before, but a lot of the people looting were not protesters. No. Dude, I saw people pulling up in cars with bags just for the sake of like the purpose of breaking a window and then running back to the car and peeling off. Yeah, it's organized. It's just yeah. criminals taking advantage of an opportunity. That's mm-hmm. all that was. Most of it, you know, there for sure was some protesters, you know, but the most the majority, I would say, were not. Oh, absolutely yeah. not. And even I know uh, two business owners, and uh, on uh, Melrose and one on La Cienega, and the camera footage that caught. They uh, it, they were out of state. They literally drove oh, in wow. from out of state and was like, yeah. let's get the, you know, they knew. They just follow the mob. The mob moves. The cops are preoccupied with everything. You know, they're not. Oh, man. They knew it was, it was wide open, and they took advantage of they it. They knew their town didn't have jack shit, dude. They're like, we only got a jack in the box. <laughs> we got to get the fuck out of here, bro. We got to go to California yeah. where there's three H&Ms in a mile. I saw a, a, a video of a truck pull out the the you know the wire gate the the shit that closes you know 
in front truck? of businesses. No, a truck like rip off the gate in front of oh, businesses. You know the wow. shit, dude. Yeah. And uh, they at a gun store, and I, I couldn't help oh, but think, shit. "Is like, yo, that's a gun store. That's scary. Why aren't you in it holding all of the guns to defend your fucking business? That's a gun nut's dream. Come in here, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> I'd be too scared. All you need to do is get enough people to outnumber you for a second, grab a gun, you know how pop, many pop, pop, you're done. Lot, concealed carry gun nuts work at a gun store. You call the employees like, hey, want to come defend the gun store? I'd be like, hoo, 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 hey, you want to come do what you dream about? I'm already <laughs> there, bro. <laughs> Are you fucking nuts? Oh, do you see those two people who who had the guns out in front of like their big mansion? You know, when there was that protest, they yeah, got those ass. They got arrested. Karen had finger on the trigger. Oh, dude! First rule is that's the first rule of gun safety. Don't put your finger on the trigger unless you're ready to fire. She's, she's like, like this. this. Also, and she's uh, holding it like this. It was a little shitty twenty-five caliber. You know, I, I mean, it wasn't it probably wasn't shitty. They're rich. Probably it's a good one, but it's just like. She looked dumb, dude. That's what she it is. looks. She looked dumb. Uh, the guy's outfit was fucking gun, fire. His, his I agree, was, dude. He looked. I mean, fucking <laughs> dude, spit, dude. I mean, you full are too tuck, white, bro. Full tuck, striped shirt. I mean, that guy. If I was wearing that outfit ooh, with that gun, I would turn the on gun on myself. Right I'd be sitting on your lap if you were wearing that outfit right that now. That gun dude. was nice. Oh man. <laughs> No, that outfit was fucking whack. Those people were whack, but they got charged, I think, just today, actually. Good. Yeah. They Good. got charged with having sick-ass outfits on, dude. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those idiots. It's just like, okay, if, if you're if you're that... First of all, the protesters were walking by. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Just sit in your home with the guns. You don't got to be out there flossing, pointing it at people walking by. Because they're making noise one day out of the year mm-hmm. on their way to somebody else's house. Like, get the fuck out well, of here. Well, it's because they're, th- you know, p- the the people are now threatening these other people's, like, status. It's, like, you know, like this thing that they've oh. never, they just always been like, oh, we deserve this and blah, blah, blah. Now it's getting threatened. And it's like, all right, now they're scared. Who gives a shit, man? Oh, I yeah, like seeing yeah. these people fucking trembling and shaking in their boots yeah, right now. Yeah, because the hood's fun. been scared of the fucking establishment their whole goddamn mm-hmm. existence. And now it's, you get dude, an ounce of a taste of it. It's, it's different. but It's amazing. Like, the stuff that I've learned just through, like, these protests and going to, like, a lot of these big, like, rallies and things like that. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I just didn't even see half of it, which makes me feel horrible, you know? But I just never even realized it until, like, a lot of people started talking about stuff. I'm like, man, dude. Like, this is just... It's systematic. Like, things that, like, I've been... I've gotten or I've been given you know just yeah just, i never understood anyone that doesn't get it they just never had uh you know they never been to the hood and seen shit yeah i mean i'm not saying i didn't get it like there's a lot of the stuff most of the stuff i i've at least like you know i've seen or i've witnessed I mean, i'm from akron where it's like we got a lot of hood too over there so i've seen a lot of bad stuff as well but there's certain things i just like it was almost like a, a shield was over my eyes you know yeah. like yeah. just just like the i mean i guess for one like the general idea of like being afraid of cops like, I've never been afraid of a cop before, you know? I'm always like, oh, they're here to protect us. But then I could do, like, a complete, like, 360 and like, or 180, and I was like, oh, my God, I totally see why you're, I've afraid, a- of, you're afraid to call the people who are supposed to protect you, which I don't know how you can ever feel safe or, like... You don't. Ha- you know? I have always been afraid of the cops, but <clears throat> for druggy reasons, never, like, I'm going to... Yeah, well, I'm same, gonna die same thing. Reasons. Same, like, exa- oh, same exact fuck. thing, yeah. I, I have fear for him for like, you know, when I'm doing dumb shit, obviously yeah. I'm afraid, but I've never been afraid to be in a situation where I'm like, I need to, I want to call a cop to come get, like, keep me safe. Yeah. If something's happening. But like the reverse of that is like, who, who can some of these people call, you know, came and call a cop. No. It's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, it is. It's fucking sad. And uh, it's, it's just nuts that some people in this country won't acknowledge I that know. it even exists. I know. And it's just, it's in the statistics. It's in the videos. Mm-hmm. It's just, uh, it's like, how are you so blind to see that the system's fucked up mm-hmm. out the gate? I mean, just yeah. sheer uh, slavery to Jim Crow to uh, to slave labor in prisons, like. Mm-hmm. For profit. Prisons. Oh man, I just watched the thirteenth. That oh, was crazy, dude. bro. It's so crazy. I and then you bring sleep. it up. I bring it up on my stories, and people are like stick to comedy. I'm just like fuck off. I'm what do they? Following. What do they think? What do they think that we're trying to do as comics? You're trying. I mean, for the most part, 
I mean, want to make people happy and have a good time, but you got to have a viewpoint, you got to have a standpoint. Yeah. You know, you're a comedian, like you're pushing the envelope for and certain al- things. And also, like, it's there is no comedy right now. There's it's, no comedy. We got to do something, bro. It's just. Crazy. Have you been doing TikTok videos? Are you no, a TikToker yet? I actually couldn't figure it out, and I somehow created two accounts. <laughs> 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 I have one video on one, and I have like a hundred followers. Nice, dude. Yeah. Keep it going, man. Oh, fuck that shit. I mean, it's it's honestly, it's so... it's it's You feel old getting on there. You're like, I gotta learn like new trends and shit now, dude. Nah. You're done? You're not gonna I'm do done. it? I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, bro. That's it for Craig, man. I'm if done. you don't get on TikTok, you're fucked, bro. TikTok is the future. It's so sick. <laughs> you know what? I'm just, I'm just... Bam, bam. <laughs> Starting to regret this. <laughs> I'll TikTok. teach you, dude. <laughs> TikTok. TikTok is TikTok. TikTok's goofy, but it's fun. I'm not a huge TikToker. I just think it's it's honestly just a place where I put all my old videos, and people are like, "This is a good video." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> Zero effort. <laughs> Boop. That's what I should do. Yeah. Put someone your told old me clips they up. don't allow like drug material on there, and I was like, "Well, that's my." Sh- thing <laughs> what else yeah. am i gonna talk about you can put it up i think you'll be all right because they i think they've gotten more lenient now they wouldn't let you cuss and like all that kind of stuff and now it's gotten much more mm. much more i was i just did a butt naked dance on there the other day it has a hundred thousand views I'm, isn't that illegal no nah, dude that <laughs> tiktok is so open now i'm i'm just playing wow. dude. imagine if i just was on there just dancing butt naked tiktok <laughs> No, I haven't done. I haven't. I haven't really been doing any TikToks lately, though. But I've tried. I got. You got to do something to keep busy, you know. I got two accounts, bro. (laughs) Yeah, bro. (laughs) If I post on one, one I gotta post the other. (laughs) 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 Two accounts on both. Yeah. Oh no, it's getting hot in here. Oh man, my ear. If I take this thing off, my ears are like pouring sweat. You gonna wash these? There it is. Wash them up on your 1099. <laughs> no, shorts. dude. 999. 999. Look at this. Look at this. Boner alert. Boner. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. There was no dick in there, huh? Hey, hey. It's a fucking, it's a the fucking joke. Huh? It's, just, it's just this little ding ding. <laughs> hey. Yee. Boner alert. What time is it? Boner, Boner time. time. <laughs> Welcome back to Boner Time with Craig. And this today, my boner is throbbing. <laughs> it's hard. It's wet. It's <laughs> Craig's boner. Let's check in with it right now. CBD dripping down. <laughs> That's what it said. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only thing it said. That's what my dick said. That's all your dick knows. If you're say. listening, he put the mic to my dick, and my dick said... CBD dripping down. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's kind of like quiet about it. CBD dripping CBD down. Dripping down. It's a CBD dripping CBD down me. Dripping down. CBD dripping down. Oh man! Don't trust the government. Do 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 do. <laughs> Don't, Don't trust, trust the, the government. government. Ooh. Ooh, they've never had their best interest in mind. They have secret they... underground rings for child. <laughs> oh, he knows. <laughs> I watched Into the Shadow or Out of the Shadow. Oh, Did you Jesus. watch that yet? Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think? I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, it's shit. too People much. People aren't dude. ready, man. People aren't ready for that one yet. That was a lot. It was also all over the place, right? It it was, it was, was not place. a good one in the scheme of that, and it was also very general. But watch Out of Shadows. There's you got to so really many. look for it on YouTube. It's it's a hard one to find, I think. But Which it was is weird. Which is weird. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> the government's like, we shouldn't take it down. Let's just make it harder to find. Harder to find. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never be on to us if we take away keywords. <laughs> <laughs> Remove oh the keywords. Ooh. This shit is so crazy. Everything just feels like untrustworthy and fake right now. You know what I mean? Like nothing. And it's not going to go back to the way that it ever was. Now from here on out. We have a duty as like, you know, the younger generations to make sure that we, that we correct all this old bullshit and we can't go back now. Nothing's going to be the same as ever was. Yeah. Let's just grow gardens. I've been growing a lot of I stuff, dude, but I should have been planting produce. I can't eat my snake plant. 
No nutritional value in there. Dude, my I oh, I, bet you, has, oh. I bet you this is already <laughs> gone, dude. My neighbor, this guy next door, he is he we you know, just has like a little <laughs> devil strip in the front of his apartment complex. And he just has been caught look at this. Oh nice. This is in the front. This is the devil strip of the street, and he cultivated it. He's growing corn. That's fantastic. Do you see how crazy? That's crazy. No, yeah, it's it's. That's cr- I mean, it's great for audio podcast though. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's all right. Let me show the. Let me it's show just the, a, It's a luscious garden in the sidewalk area, and it's like corn and lettuce and berries and shit. I mean, you can see right there. This man has just. I always never understood that. Like they plant all these trees on city blocks, which is beautiful, fantastic. I yeah. love trees. But how about an apple tree? Why am I going to the grocery store? Let to me buy go apples? pick and eat. You know? Yeah. Let me go pick How about eat. a nectarine tree? How about a peach tree? How about an anything tree? Because this is California and Ooh. it grows everything. How about an avocado tree? Ooh. Why am I paying a dollar fifty for a fucking avocado? That's the crazy thing. When it could thing, be dude. on the block. Let us grow our is food. Is that so crazy? What if all city mediums was just like organic sun to soil produce? Not no hydro oh product. Why am I buying grapes from Chile? From Trader Joe's, when we go grapes in Cali, Pornia. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. It says ma- ma- made, grown in Chile. It's like, why the fuck did this motherfucking grape come from Chile when I got grapes up north? Four Those or are five wine, hours wine away. wine grapes, dude. I'll eat wine grapes. It bring me back to my wine old days. Ooh. I was a wine I drank Winos, a box dude. of frenzy. You can't hide being a wine or your mouth's always red. <laughs> your teeth are always so red. <laughs> They're like, you're drinking Kool-Aid? Franzia. <laughs> Franzia. I was drinking hugs. I mm. was drinking Welsh's grape juice. <laughs> it's good for your heart. Larry <laughs> King Live told me that. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know when you're being serious or you're joking, dude. Did I don't, Larry King Live tell I you I don't that? know. If, <laughs> is he alive? <laughs> Larry King dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive, man. That's going to be the, te- that's gonna be the headline when he kid. dies. He's 90. He had his six kid? I have no idea, but it's oh, weird. See, it's you got to stop fucking with me, bro. Be- I believe anything it's, that you say. Well, ever. you know, it's everything I say is kind of true. He <laughs> definitely just had a kid, and he's old as fuck. <laughs> I guess the rest. Dude, you know when I, when I knew you were a real comedian? You want mm-hmm. to know the moment I knew it? Mm-hmm. I think it was like... Five years ago or something, I was running a show at the uh, at the uh, the trip in Santa Monica. Remember that show? It's like a little bar show. Me and Morgan J used to run it, and there was probably like I don't know, like twenty people there. It wasn't very big, but this the room was pretty small too. And then there was just this drunk dude at the bar, and he like was just kind of like and we were just kind of talking over him. And you got up there and you started saying a joke, and then he said something, and you just you just stopped and went off on him. And I was like, oh, dude, Craig is real, bro. And I loved it so much. I don't because remember it. <laughs> it was, I know. It was I probably get just, angry. It, you just went, hey, bro. And just like ripped into this dude. And I was like, everyone's like, yeah, I was sort of cheering. And I was like, dude, thank God Craig is here to control my show. Because I had never said anything to anybody who was who was a drunk talker. Shut them the fuck up. You said, shut the fuck up, dude. Or get the fuck out of here. Fuck up. And I was like, ooh. I'm four years away of getting my Glock 19. Ooh. Better shut the fuck up, bro. You better shut up before I go back I'm in tra- time. Travel and back in you. time. Go to an underground government lair. Travel back in time and get a, my Glock. Pop, 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 pop. Are you pop. gonna shoot it like this or like this? <laughs> Have you figured that out yet? <laughs> like I'm gonna Keanu? do it right. I'm gonna train Keanu, <laughs> loading two shotgun shells in this Keanu Terran Tactical Manelli automatic shotgun. You gotta get two, bro, so you can have. Two in each oh, one you don't hand. think I plan on? They're expensive. They're so expensive. <laughs> yeah, but if you if you get two, then you can have as many as you want. You just rub them together, and they make little baby guns. <laughs> I'm gonna start selling drugs again so I can afford my gun habit. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years sober, Craig Conant recently got back into the drug game to support his gun habit. What he doesn't ne- sniff any. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was go. You go ahead, take it over. He no longer sniffs this stuff, but. I, I have not he is firing, <laughs> <laughs> but he is fucking loaded, bitch. Have you seen his AR-15? It's underneath Ooh. that mountain of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Just move all this coke off the tape. There it is. I've never shot. I don't think I've ever. Oh, I've shot an AR-15 one time. I have not. I've never been to a gun range. I've only shot in like my the backyards of That's Ohio. That's way better. I it wish I could so do that. It was so much more fun. If I shoot in my backyard, I'm gonna kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> you would kill at least three people in here, dude. This I is know. WeHo. Everybody's I'll, on top of each I'll other. I killed two dudes and a cat, and I'll be like, no, not a, not no, <laughs> not no a death. cat, no death. 
It was fun to be like, those, those were the days back in like, you know, in the Midwest. Because you can just go in the background and like set some cans up and just start firing and nobody's going to do anything. Yeah, over here you it. will, have the SWAT team will come oh and my you, God. you probably might die. Yeah. You're like, but it was, it was a two liter. It was a fresca. And it was, I was going to recycle it. Yeah. If you shoot them into the recycling bin. Yeah, and it was it was piss. It wasn't even water. I know it's a drought. I'm not I'm not inconsiderate. <laughs> you fill your bottles with pee so you could shoot them. Wow, mm. nothing right. like hot piss and a bullet. <laughs> That's what my daddy taught me. <laughs> 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 nothing like hot piss and a bullet. That's nothing be... like hot piss and a bullet. Somehow make that your comedy special. Name. Hey, I've seen it. it. Hot piss and a bullet. Netflix presents <laughs> hot piss and a bullet. <laughs> By Craig Honig. By. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what they say? I don't know. I just never heard anybody's comedy special. Is that what they say, Chris? Say bye. It's like, I like that. Starring though. or. Oh, yeah. Starring. Performed by. Oh, right? Yeah. I think bye is like, it's when you write a book. Or yeah, something. yeah. You're right. You're right. I fucked up. Hot piss and a bullet. By Craig Conan. <laughs> <laughs> I was plugging the book. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Oh yeah, I weed That's your wide. Book. You could write a book, dude. People would read your book. Yeah, your old days. I used to, dude. I would fucking. My favorite joke that you have is when you say, "They're in my body," and I used to love when you yelled that, dude. I would like make sure I always caught that joke. No matter how many times I saw you, I'd have to be in there to hear you do that. It would bring joke. the house. It still does. Brings the fucking house down, That's dude. A good bit. Uh, that story's nuts. Uh, that yeah, that story's story nuts. is a hundred percent true. Mm -hmm. uh, so as we all know I threw firecrackers at a posse of sheriffs On horses And uh, I don't remember if I said This part but the punchline is they say Where are the drugs at hippie and I'm like they're in my body <laughs> And that I will never forget this when they cuffed me up I was like fuck what drugs Do I have on me and I literally went I was like oh my god they're all In me thank god <laughs> So they can't because they get extra charges I already Man. have four charges I'm gonna get two possessions of narcotic and 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 weed was illegal at that time. I don't know what it would have been, but it wouldn't have been good. So I was just like, "Oh fuck yeah!" I was like, <laughs> "So what? You just get like disturbing the like the peace?" It was assault on an officer, <clears throat> assault on a horse officer, which sounds like a joke, but that sounds a, like BoJack. <laughs> that's a real dude. thing. Uh, detonation of explosive devices and possession of explosive devices. Yeah, I had to get a lawyer. Yeah. I had to get a lawyer. Did you get like a, like not a DUI, but like uh intoxicated and public no. type thing? No, they didn't breathalyze me. Wow. But you were on drugs. <laughs> you were on. Yeah. Mm, crazy, yeah. dude. How many times have you been arrested? Only like four times. Yeah. That's not bad. How you many gotta, times you have you been arrested? You got to double digits once. Only once. What'd you do? I got an underage in public when I was in college. And I, dude, I got so, it was, it was fat Tuesday and I got pretty drunk and then I was walking home and I was talking to this girl and this guy, I guess he must've like, she was his friend or something or he had a crush on her. So he was like behind us and all of a sudden he like, he goes, Hey, Hey man. And I turned around and he pushed me and I was so drunk that I just fell over. No. And then I remember in my head, I go, dude. Don't take this shit. Don't be a bitch. I was like, say something about his mom. <laughs> so I just got up and I said, I don't even know what I said, but something about his mom. And then he pushed me again and I fell over again and then a cop grabbed me. Bastards. I know, dude. And then the kid the next day somehow got my number and he texted me. He's like, dude, I'm so sorry. And I was like, well, that didn't really help this fucking fat ticket I just got. Because they were going to take me like downtown, but they put me in a drunk tank and then somebody came and got me. So it was like a half arrest. You got a ticket? Yeah, I ended up getting, like, they brought me to a, it was in college, so I think they just had, like, a drunk college tank, you know? Oh, if you, you're underage. I was like, <clears throat> drunk tank, they just let you go. Yeah, that's it's what the happened. Best. That's the best. If you're going to get arrested, the drunk tank is the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> they let you loose in the morning, no charges, no nothing. Just maybe some scabs, a little bloody. <laughs> so be it. It was great. And then I had just had, I got it expunged. All I had to do was work for, at a, at a thrift shop. My, uh, Isn't that a weird thing for? <laughs> yeah. A criminal. They're in cahoots with the government. <laughs> <laughs> They're in cahoots. Push these records. My dad mm. got arrested at Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday in, in New Orleans. He threw a brick at a cop or something. Mm. <laughs> and then like uh, father like son. It's beautiful. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he uh he made the paper too. He was on a Catalina cruise ship and uh him and his buddies started like rioting and, and, and when they're in the harbor and 
just partying and fucking the ship up and pushing people off into the ocean and whatnot. <laughs> what? You can't just brush by that last part. <laughs> just pushing people off boats. It was the 60s, man. It was a different time. <laughs> Everything seemed easier in the 60s. You're like, you're just shooting people. And was then, the uh, 60s. And then he, uh, he got pushed off into the ocean. It was just, you know, so I push you off. He pu- <laughs> you push him off. It's just a good time. We all laugh. We're Hopefully friends, make it back to the shore. You know. I can't swim. <laughs> and then, uh, no, so then the, the, the police and the boats picked him up and uh, him and his buddies. So they're all on the, on, the, on the police boat. And when they got close to shore and the police boat was going this way, he jumped off and swam with two of his buddies and hid in a bathroom. And then they, they were talking and like, yeah, you know, the fun. And he hid in a stall because he knew the cops were going to come looking for him. And he said he fucked up because he was hiding in the stall, standing on the toilet. And then the cop came and got his buddies. And he thought the coast was clear, but he should have waited like five minutes because he peeked his head out. And the cop was like, hey, get over here. And then got him. And then he made the paper and my my Nana (laughs) saved it. And he goes, she's like, this is when your father made the paper. (laughs) (laughs) And then uh, and then. I love that. You know, 50 years later, I made the paper for the horse assaulting thing. Mm-hmm. Three of them. Top that, Dad. Yeah, Dad. I made Screw three, you, bitch. And an online one, so four. <laughs> and you have all this artwork up in your in your apartment, and you don't have a framed side-by-side. So I fucked up. So at that time, when you have four charges against you, and, you know, this is pre-comedy, but, like, I, I, like this is a, Torrance is a small town. Everyone, oh, did you hear about this kid? I I got death threats. Uh, what? P- yeah, because of the horses, PETA, oh, wow. PETA, and the animal people. I got lots of death threats, and uh, that's crazy. Yeah, like I remember my buddy Mike Becker was going at people on the internet because on the internet article people were like, "This kid should be stomped out by horses." It's right. We can leave his name in there. He's a gangster. He's the man. And then he, uh, but he was like. Like, he's like, you weren't there. You don't know what happened. And they're like, fuck you. Fuck your friend. He deserves to get ripped apart by horses. He's a piece of shit. And he's like, he's crazy. He's like, fuck you. I'll fucking fight you. Come to this address right now, bitch. And he's trying to fight people through the internet. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Mike. <laughs> but I could, I was just so sensitive. I was like, I can't read. I went in a hole, dude. I didn't even get a lawyer at first. I went to Santa Barbara to a Snoop concert with a girl. I was like, I don't want to deal with this. Damn. And then my family's like, you need to get a lawyer and deal with this. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I didn't save any of the articles because the wound was so fresh. I was yeah, like, I yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to see it. I don't want to hear about it. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget. I already told the story, but uh, at Trader Joe's, I missed work because I was in jail, you know. And then I went to work the next day. And my manager, he he was the man, too. I won't name him, but he's holding up the newspaper <laughs> and had the article. And he's like, Craig, would you like to tell me anything that happened over the week? And I was like, I was like oh, man, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, and uh, man. yeah, so there's it was in the, the Daily Breeze, the the Beach Reporter and the Easy Reader and some San Bernardino article, The Sun and an Internet article. Actually, I made five i think the internet wow. article was like one of the you know same shit so that anyways uh yeah i'm sure i'm i could find it through public records but i just remembered like you know you know it's like a breakup you don't want to see her you don't you block because i can't mm-hmm. look at that it was the same thing you get arrested in four charges and people are sending you death threats i don't know i don't i think you gotta don't. go get it dude you gotta I do, go you gotta go to the library i'm missing one mug shot too i only have two of my mug shots <sighs> See, I this, need this, the is, this is the kind of stuff you can use for like album artwork and like yeah. and if you get your si- yours framed and your dad's framed and then maybe your son someday you know and then his yeah. son <laughs> can keep going down like this beautiful framed photos of like all the amazing I'm arrest I'm really records. glad my dad doesn't listen to my podcast would he be mad if you said that <laughs> yes oh, man. I'm so glad my parents don't support my, my podcast that I do dude I don't think my parents would ever listen to a podcast that I did. I would hope they wouldn't, too, by the way. I wouldn't want them to. My family listens to mine and watches it on YouTube. I'm like, I'm doing boner alert. You got kids. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's go back to the boner and see what he's saying. I'm tired. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go uh, back, go back, okay. go back. Hey, let's check back in with Craig's boner. Do you have any cereal with oat milk? I'm lactose. 
<laughs> I don't know. Wait, We're losing it. Your dick is lactose? <laughs> I guess. Oh, man. You could just stir a little bowl of cereal with your boner. What are we even talking about, dude? You went <laughs> you too far. Just, you listen, went too far. First off, I don't... Those bits I, were funny. That was too far. The the sp- stirring of the of the soup. Yeah, you're sick, man. <laughs> you're a sick person. I'm a fucking sick. I'm gonna sneeze on. Son you. of a bitch, dude. I don't even know what's funny anymore. I don't do comedy. I did the Laugh Factories uh, uh, <laughs> live. <laughs> Have you done that yet? They asked me to. I said no. <laughs> I don't know. What was it like? It was all right. Twenty minute set was kind of fun and like, but it is. You're there's, performing there's, the chairs. No, there's at least like three or four. I mean, there are comics sitting there, so like once in a while you get a couple laughs, but oh. it's better than the Zoom shows, bro. They're so brutal. No, because the Zoom shows, zero. you can hear people laugh at you. Oh, maybe I'm not doing good jokes then. <laughs> Zoom shows, if the audio's on, people laugh. Mm-hmm. The reason I said no to the Laugh Factory show, keep in mind I love Laugh Factory. They give They're me spots beautiful and Beautiful people. But they, but they perform <clears throat> Instagram Live, so people just comment Mm-hmm. And you can't read the comments. Like you can't hear any audible laughter. Mm-hmm. You're performing to a manager and two comics. <sighs> Life's hard enough. Do for it, me dude. Right now, guys. you should do it, bro. It's fun. Oh, I did my taxes finally. Do you guys want to oh, know how I'm, much I, I made I'm last still, year? I'm still, I'm still in the middle of doing mine right now. Isn't it? Did you get an extension? I did. Okay, but I owe money, so I'm gonna have a. Anyways, what what happened? What how'd yours go? I don't even want to tell you guys. <laughs> Why? What is it? Guess how much I earned last year. <laughs> guess how much you earned? How much I earned. Oh, I don't want to offend anybody. All right, I'm going to take a guess. Only on comedy? Solely comedy? Yep, my earnings for 2019. Okay. Uh, 40. I wish. 33? $15,010. <laughs> <laughs> I did my taxes and he added them up. And I was like, that's it? I knew I could survive on a budget, baller on a budget. I always blast dude, you that are shit. Fucking ball, you are doing it, dude. And then he, he, yeah, and he goes, "Yup." And I was like, "That's it." And I was like, "Oh my!" I got sad. I was like, fifteen thousand dollars. That's like rent. That's like your rent. No, I have cheap rent, but oh, good. I'm. I bought a gun. I'm doing all right. No. <laughs> I uh I for <laughs> sure got paid like cash like bar shows and shit, mm-hmm. but I tallied that up and guesstimated that that couldn't have been more than four or five grand. Mm. So even that, I probably made twenty G's. Yeah, I mean that's I'm it's sad, big. guys. <laughs> I'm sad. It's I a, always tell you, mother, I don't. Who cares? But everyone, uh, you know, you got to follow me on Instagram. They think you're rich. <laughs> I'm like, you should see my tax statement. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it is, dude, uh, it is sad, bro. I went through my. I mean, listen, I didn't even make enough money in in comedy last year. I don't think to like be able to. I'm trying to write off everything. I just turned in all my stuff to my accountant because, dude, he didn't hit me up for a while, and then I messaged him and I was like, "Hey, man, uh, should I get somebody else to do my taxes?" And he goes, "He's like, make up your mind, man. You sound like your mother." I was like, "What? That was my accountant, bro, who wow. said that." But he's making a joke, and then I was like, uh, "All right, I mean, I'll have you do them, but should I be worried about like late fees?" And then he just wrote back. He goes, 50 years in jail. That's all he wrote. <laughs> so I kind of like him, bro. He's just he's trying to like just goof with me as much as he can. Uh, you need a new account. <laughs> no, dude. Bro, I'm, that's I'm, not a be joking I'm using around him. kind of I'm guy. I'm still using him, bro. He's great. <laughs> I'm going with it. I like getting a little, you know, we like getting played with like that, you know? The fact that I made 15 grand and I, I thought I was going to have to pay taxes, I'm like, there needs to be. If you make below f- maybe 30 grand. Mm-hmm. Did you write stuff off? Did you go in there and like... I'm not there yet. It, it's like, uh, thank God, like a couple of the paychecks were, uh, taxes were withdrawn because there was a couple shoots for whatever. Mm-hmm. And so because of that, I didn't owe any money. Oh, good, good, good. It was a wash. Did you make anything? It was a wash. Like 400 I got 400 So I made $15,410. I'm sorry, guys. I'm mistaken. That's fucking sick, bro. You got to write everything up. It'd be so funny if the government comes after me for, I was like, I made about four grand cash at bar shows. They're like, get them. It'd be so sick, dude. I don't have a kitchen, man. That means like the government's watching your podcast. That's fucking awesome. (laughs) Dude, that made me get in my head. I was like, I need to level up. Dude, don't. Also, too, how many people would kill to be in my shoes, though, and Mm -hmm. just do comedy and make a living off of it? That's the thing. It's like you you got to kind of see from both sides, bro. (laughs) You got to see what we get to be out in Los Angeles. It's always sunny. 
yeah. to follow our dreams and do this awesome stuff. It's just a longer road to get. That's that's when it starts to get scary because like you you see it like uh, you're well, you're from Torrance, so I guess you don't maybe you don't quite. Well, Torrance is still like a family town, right? For sure. So yeah. you are you, a lot of your friends who you grew up with like kids and like yeah, successful just, uh, houses and yeah. That yeah. part makes it tough. Yeah. You're Meanwhile, like, "Whoa, you got a wife and a family and a house in Redondo Beach?" Did I tell you I made $15,000 <laughs> last year? You're not afraid every month when your car payments do? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, bro. No, it just it's just weird. It's just a different path we've chosen, you know? It just takes a little while. But it does suck when somebody else pops and you're like, you want to be happy, but you're also like, oh, God, when's, yeah. my, when's my pop? Yeah. Your pop's going to be soon. You're, you're, oh, you're a crusher, bro. I've been waiting for my pop. Your pop's coming, dude. Hey, pop stars, help me out. Pop stars? I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 that's good. I don't we should, know. This is a message for the pop stars. Craig's pop, right here ready to pop. Pop, pop. pop da. He's Can a I get pop a pop star? Can you subscribe to my Patreon? Whether you listen to it or not, did you hear how much money I made last year? <laughs> <laughs> is this on Patreon? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. But I have one. What's Yeah. It's Patreon. www.patreon.com. <laughs> <laughs> Link's in the Craig's stuff, man. There. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Maybe that's part of your fifteen thousand four hundred ten dollars. This is my year. I'm gonna dude. make money, man. Well, Next fucking year. pandemic. Next I year. Was, I was on route Next to make year. the most money I've ever made. I had a eight nine city tour, some shit, mm. and I make some money. You know, I sell that's merch. Awesome. It's good. It's nice. It's shit. And then that God say pandemic, I take it away. The God is Italian. <laughs> Ooh. I take it away. Do you got any sweatpants? Hey. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. And then God said. You, you you thought you weren't going to be poor anymore, huh? The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Taketh a toll. Take that boner away. <laughs> Your boner's gone. Ah! No. Oh, no. The boner has disappeared, dude. Fuck you, government. Listen, bro. Next year. What the hell? <laughs> the lint from a boner. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> boner alert. <laughs> lint ball alert. What do you have tattooed on your kneecap? I just got that, dude. I suck dick? Yeah, I thought it'd be nice to have I suck dick <laughs> Damn, on my Damn, I thought you were a straight boy. You always were after girls. No, it says be here. In the moment? In the moment. Oh. But you know what? I got you it for myself, wrote, dude. Uh, I got it for moment. myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you Tattoo. should continue it. In the be moment. Here. Be in here the in moment. the moment. Be here in the moment. Tupac thinks I'm a bitch from above. Do you have any tattoos? No. Not a single one? No. Just a brown star on my butt. Uh, let me just show you something. Dude. No, <laughs> no, dude. Let me just uh, no. let me just show you something real no. fast, bro. Do you really have a tattoo? Show the camera. <laughs> I got a big star on my butt, dude. Can you see it? Move your arm. Well, show I want to show my whole my whole butt crack <laughs> and show shit. Show the camera. Show All right, it. dude. What does it say? It says butt, dude. But dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not on drugs? I don't know, dude. I was on a Four Loco when I got it done. <laughs> oh, that makes a lot of sense. Four Locos, dude. I had one Four Locos before I got sober. They're disgusting. Oh, it's not good for people. They burn your throat. What is that? You know, if you're going to get a malt <sighs> liquor, let's be a purist here. You get Old English, Mickey's, or Steel Reserve. You're going to get an energy drink malt liquor? What do you want, diabetes? What, do you want to drop off a cliff? You get Old English, Mickey's. If you want diarrhea and the worst farts of your oh, life, you get oh. Steel Reserve, 311 Steel Reserve. Dude, we used to get Steel Reserves in college. Oh, Two disgusting. of those and you're out. Two of those and you, your dog's farts smell like heaven <laughs> oh, <laughs> compared to what you got <laughs> cooking. That was the most mud butt diarrhea malt liquor ever. Oh, I was dude, a Mickey's, Mickey's old English man. I would do Mickey's. I would do the, what was it called? The Brass Monkeys. You the know? Little, Pour the little orange juice in one? there. Oh, what? No, you take Mickey's and you, you drink like a third of it and you fill it with oh, orange juice. You're fucking gross. <laughs> mm. Breakfast. What is that, a poor man's mimosa? <laughs> Breakfast I, club. I don't want any Moet. Give me that old English. I'm oh, sorry, Mickey's. <laughs> Mickey's. Mickey's. It's the off brand, dude. Did you know Mad Dog 2020 isn't called Mad Dog 2020? I posted that shit on my Facebook. What, the beer? Ruined my universe. Mad Dog 2020 was a cheap liquor you get when you're in high school. And I called it Mad Dog 2020 for mm. 20 years. And then I looked at the label. It's not called that. And then somebody shared it on the internet, and then I shared it. And it was one of the most viral bits on Facebook I posted, I'm like, that's what did it? Not my <laughs> fart jokes. And it, because everyone's mind was blown. It's like, it's not called Mad Dog? It's well, like it's, finding it out called? Nike's called 
fucking Mikey check or mark. some shit. <laughs> check mark. You're just like, what? Yeah, man. I mean, well, uh, Nike's a bit bigger than Mad Dog. <laughs> Wait, what, what was what was it actually called? I wonder if I know the liquor. Hey, what's it called, Chris? MD twenty twenty. Yeah. MD oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. everyone just called it Mad Dog. <clears throat> it was like I cheap Kool Aid liquor. Yeah, the little blue bottles. Little oh blue man! Liquors. Speaking of Mad Dog twenty twenty, it made Mike Becker puke in my garage. That was the funniest <laughs> shit I ever seen in my Is life. Is this the same one We're, from earlier? Same dude. Yeah, from yeah, earlier? yeah. Oh, cool. I like homie, how he keeps dude. coming up, bro. He uh he was we were you know high school shit just drink until we couldn't walk. And he was passed out in this chair I had the whole night like this. We're like, I don't know if Mike's doing so good. And then all the meanwhile, it's high school. So the party continues. Mike's just like this. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you see him go. <laughs> and then he fucking props to you, Mike, because he bolted out of the garage, maybe spit a little, a little and made it all the way across the street Good and puked in the him. neighbor's yard. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you were, that's a real that's one, a real dude. one right there. Yeah, that's a, a real, he real just one. Knew, he was in a comatose, but he knew, I better not do it in this garage, you know. Also, it's high school if you were that guy. I, it happened with girls, but with dudes, I'll forget. I already told these you stories. made fun of, bro. But made fun You're of. You're screwed. Assaulted. Yeah. Dude, this one kid puked on my buddy Travis's couch, and we dragged him out by the feet and hit his head on every step. It was cement, bro. And threw him in the bushes. Face down, though. We didn't want him to die, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, same thing. This other kid puked at my buddy. So I'm not naming names. My my buddy, he puked at my buddy Chris. So I puked all over his couch. We got so pissed. We swung him with arms and legs, you know, like this. Mm-hmm. He hauled him, threw him outside. He landed on a bench press like, oh, you just heard noises like, Ooh. oh, and we just shut the door. It was winter. I know it's Los Angeles, but still, he, he said he woke Ooh. up like this. It could like, be like 40 degrees in the and winter, And then he's man. like, how would I end up outside? And I was like, I, I fucked up because I was like, oh, man, we threw you into the bench press because you puked everywhere. He's like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Like, I thought I had hypothermia, man. And I was all mm-hmm. sore. And I was like, don't puke. <laughs> you can't do it. Dude. Don't be a little bitch. Be a man, you either puke in your pants, penis. <laughs> you either puke in no, your you dick. No, you puke in a toilet, you puke outside. Even when I puked at my friend's house, this is fucked up. But uh, I was at uh, Nikki and Maddie's house, my my uh, my hairstylist at my old roommate's house. And uh, it's okay. They're my friends. I love them. And then they, uh, I didn't know they were in cahoots together, not always hit on them. And then they'd be like, stop you know, I didn't know they were dating. I don't. Maybe we should edit this part. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I didn't know. I was just a dumb fuck. It was. It was. It was. It was they were. They were lesbian love, and they were dating each other. And, and they were dating. Each one and I didn't know, and I'd hit on her girlfriend it. in front of her. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know. And then gotcha. they told me. I was like, "Why didn't you tell me? I'm not an asshole monster. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. I felt real stupid. Uh-huh. Anyway, it's fine. We'll leave it in." Maybe bleep their I names. I think in the end it became... Bleep, bleep their names. But yeah. then anyways, uh, I got a joke out of it. Uh, so I was at their house, and you know when you, you hit too much weed when you when you got the spins? Spinny, yeah. But I already had the spins, and I'm a dumb, 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 dumb drug drug addict. So I was like, okay, I got spins. Marijuana, I'll fix that. No. That no. makes it 10 times 10 worse. 10 times worse. I took a fat bong hit, and then I was like, oh, no. And this is fucked up, but I also saved the day. Uh, so that way was the bathroom. That way was the balcony. I ran out of the balcony, puked off their balcony, third floor. It sucked because right there, down there was a bush or the center walkway, the in, in entrance to the apartment building, which do you think it landed on <laughs> <laughs> the entrance to the apartment building? <laughs> and they're like, why didn't you like puke in the bathroom? I was like, Ah, uh, I didn't know if I was gonna make it. They're like the balcony's further. I was like, I saw it, you know, <laughs> I saw it. It's better than your carpet. You want the carpet? I made it outside. Yep, that's the same house where I dropped their pipe and I broke it. And I was with like one of their friends, and then uh, uh, I broke it. And I was like, don't tell them about this. And I just chucked it off the balcony into Ooh. the street. Now and they're I gonna was like, know. No pipe doesn't exist. And then the friend told, ratted on me, and I got in trouble, and I had to buy them a new pipe. <laughs> I, I sound like a terrible person, don't I? Dude, was your, is your memory, you have a pretty good memory, it feel, it seems. Is I never lost always... the wallet, never lost the cell phone. Wow. But that's not so much memory. Up, it's more like misplacing. scabs on my face. I actually didn't black out very often. Really? I only blacked out maybe 
four to six times in my career. I was never a, I, I, uh, I'm an addict. I could, I could send my jeans. I could function. I'm not a big guy that I could yeah. drink and, and drink and sniff with the best of them. But you could, you could go hard though. You just uh-huh. wouldn't black out. Your body no, just didn't allow it. I just stay it. up. Huh? And sounds like I can drink like three <clears throat> beers sometimes and have a fuzzy memory from it. Oh no. I always, I always remembered almost everything. Yeah. I got a terrible memory. Like that kind of stuff. Like Steve-O, for example, he can remember a lot of shit. Yeah. He's got a great memory it's, for like his it's past. It's different genes. It's like yeah. He probably had the bug, you know? I always was shocked that I can't remember what I did or said yesterday, but I can mm. remember shit where I was fucking doped up, you know? Yeah. And I'll remember that. But like, oh, shit. Keep in mind, for sure, I did forget a lot. But if a buddy brings it up, I'm like, oh, my God, I it remember that. Yeah. 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 I'm just yeah. like, ooh, I buried that one deep. I got my memory buddy. He'll like, he'll bring up stories for me, even if it's like wasn't even like a drug story, like a drunk story, you know, anything like that. Yeah, like we weren't like smoking weed, we weren't like getting hammered on beer. Like, he'll like just I, he remembers everything, dude. And like, I can't remember any of that stuff, even just like a regular like sober day. Like, remember that hike? And I'm like, I didn't even know I've been <laughs> hiking before. <laughs> I didn't know you were my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Oh. It's just this terrible memory that I got, but yours yeah. is good, dude. That's like that's nice to have that. Well, you, it's, it's it was eventful on... event. <laughs> I mean, even just for being on stage, dude, I'll forget like the order of bits sometimes, like any of that. It's just a, I gotta start doing those memory games. I gotta start playing Sudoku, dude. I have selective memory because I'll yeah. just forget some shit he said six minutes ago, and then I'll remember a time on mushrooms, Molly, and Coke. The same time years ago, you know what I mean? I'm like, how do you remember that? (laughs) You don't remember, hey, podcast at one. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's my podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Like, how the fuck? I don't I set mad reminders on my phone. Yeah, I I don't remember anything. Notes and reminders, baby. They're saving grace. Dude, for a comedian, like my notebook is like my if I lost my phone, my career is over. Yeah. You know, that's where everything is at for me. But you should just tattoo your set list on your butt cheek. (laughs) <laughs> now speaking of Every cheek, minutes. I didn't realize We're an hour and a half in We're t- fucking rooting and tooting baby. Oh we cruised we Crushed it We just fucking cruised Right through this I, bad boy I'm about to piss my pants But we gotta get to the nitty gritty <laughs> Oh boner alert uh, uh, what, I need a poop story out of you bro Like a good juicy diarrhea You sprayed your mom on accident Something real bad <laughs> She's like honey help me with the <laughs> ah! <laughs> You know, the most embarrassing poo poo story you ever heard and oh, had. Oh gosh, had. the most embarrassing poop story I ever. Um, all right, dude, I got I got one that's pretty. I mean, it was more like I kind of escaped, but I was uh, dating this girl in college, and I woke up and I had I think I had just like I tried to fart really quietly, oh, no. but I I shit a little bit in my pants. Oh so, yeah, and it was like enough to be like I was like if I move. We might spill on the bed. You know? Oh no! That's so I've been to, there. So I've been there quietly eight times before. <laughs> 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 you love poop, dude. It's a good thing. So I had to sneak out of bed without waking her, and then I had to go and shower in the dorm showers, and then go back to see. Look, were you, were you nervous about that? What? <laughs> <laughs> Sweatpants. They don't have tight tights on the bottom. Am I loose? You just loose? shake, just shake Look a turn down your leg, and I'll flap it up and up it. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the video of that lady at the grocery store who's like she's like looking at a piece of fruit and all of a sudden she like looks around and she just like shakes her leg and a turd just falls out of her shorts and then she just yeah. walks away yeah. yeah i've seen a couple of those, those oh, awesome. dude that was the mad pooper in the park she kept doing it though a runner oh. and there's that one guy that shit drunk against the wall but then slipped and fell in it and the water <laughs> went. that's a classic Wait, i've never seen that one poo-poos. So I had to sneak away and go shower in like the public like floor bathroom. And it was like seven in the morning. I was like, please God, I don't have anybody like have any early classes. Just shower in my poopy body and then nice. and I had to sneak back into bed with her and never told her the story. That's fantastic. I know. I hope she listens. We're married now, actually. <laughs> what? Yes, yeah, my wife, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Does she have a butt dude tattoo tattoo? Yeah, tattoo? This, she has a butt what girl. Did I just say? She has a butt girl on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna. I I do want to. I do have one thing I want to do though with my butt cheek. I just want to fill my whole butt cheek sleeve in and have only that's like where I have like my tattoos at. You know. <laughs> then people are like, "You what? You have your sleeve done?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And I pull my pants down and have a butt cheek. You should sleeve. just get like really graphic 
like diarrhea skin marks around your <laughs> asshole. <laughs> so it just permanently looks like there's shit on your ass. So you're about to make love and then they look at your ass and they just want to vomit. Or like some spiders <laughs> like centipedes crawling out of your butthole. And they're like, ooh, that's too far. You take you it too far. G- Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. Okay. Too far. Wait, you got a poop story before you go? You've already told all your poop stories. I think probably. I told all my poop stories. Yeah. Everyone always wants all these poop stories. Have I told the one in Ross and Vegas where I go to grab toilet paper? I for sure have. That one, I don't remember it off the top of my head. God, your voice just sounds so good on the mic. What yeah. Is, he sounds... Hey, how you, you should read <laughs> books, bro. I don't have any new poop stories, but I have at least 30 poop stories. Did I, t- did I tell the one where I shit in the church parking lot because of cocaine? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love how he is your poop dobbleist. <laughs> like he's got, he's like he's got like a little poop index in his head. I'll tell, tell the tell the Ross one. Again. I'll tell this one again. Forgive me if you heard it before. I had to shit my pants at a goddamn Ross in Las Vegas. I straight up, my family, we get to Vegas, we go straight to Ross. We don't even check in the hotel. I don't know why we're like that. <laughs> well, you know, well, <laughs> but we, it's like, ooh, this Ross has different stuff. Yeah. My mom loves shopping. My aunt loves shopping. Oh, my whole family loves shopping, but we like deals. None of us are rich, so it's like Ross. You know, you know, we already plugged it. 999, dude. Um, and so I'm about, first of all, Ross is not the kind of place you want to take a shit in. Uh, maybe mm-hmm. TJ Maxx. Maybe Marshalls. Definitely not Ross. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ross is the food for less. Is, as food for less is the grocery stores, Ross is to the discount stores. Are they, are they connected? They're all in cahoots. But uh-huh. that Ross is just ghetto. It's it's just more, just going to be more skid marks there. You know? It's not good. Yeah. So yeah. I go, I poop, I make it to the toilet. I do my business like a normal human being. And then I go to wipe my ass. And I reach in the toilet paper dispenser. And I, I, I feel something, no, dude, and no. I squeeze it. Wait for it, and it was, uh, it was like squishy. It was a cloth. It was a cloth, and it was squishy. And I'm just like, what is this? And I pull it out, and it's red Tommy Hilfiger boxer briefs with a giant turd in it. No, dude. I'm squeezing shit. Someone else's shit in boxers. No. In the toilet paper no. dispenser, dude. No. Dude. But now, dude, I'm stuck. I'm I have to watch and I'm just like, ah and I fucking I got wait, I gotta know. Did it did it get through to your hands? It did not. It did not. Ooh, but still. God, it's still so gross. I felt a little dampness. You oh know? god. Uh, and I just throw it. I'm like, what the fuck? But now I'm just sitting here and I'm stuck. I was like, I can't. Like, I got to wipe my ass, you know, and I got to go back in there. I don't know what's in there, you know, <laughs> but I need to wipe. And then uh, oh God. I tell the story on stage time at sometimes, too, but it's all true. It's just like, motherfucker, like, you poop your pants. <laughs> you you Clean up, bro. You You fucking throw that in the trash yeah, can, take in it the away. corner, clog the fucking toilet, slap it on the wall. You do what you got to do. You yeah. don't bamboozle me. You yeah. got me, Just because you, you had a bad got shit me. doesn't mean I need to he have got one, got me. Too. Now I'm stuck. Fuck him. Now dude. I got these fucking pink eye fingers, dude. <laughs> oh. And now I got to wipe my ass, and I'm just traumatized. I'm just shell-shocked. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and I wipe, I wash to go back my in. hands, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ. So some bastard shit his pants. And somehow their story became my story. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck you, Las Vegas, maybe 2016. Yeah, dude. He's got a better story. He's telling a story about he's like, I shit my pants and stuck it up in a little toilet paper rack. It's going to be so and that's funny. That's his funny story. If this, <laughs> if this goes viral someday, one day there's going to be a pooper out there that's going to be like, that was me, <laughs> dude. dude. I'm like, fuck you. I'm blocking you on everything. No, you got to get him into your show. You're He's right. got to come to a show. That's, that, right. that dude gave you come a bit. Come to a show and then I'll block him. Yeah. <laughs> dude, fucking you, have him come to a show, have a special seat for him when he sits down. It's just covered in poop. No. Oh yeah, it's a bad idea. Sorry, you're right. It's I won't idea. work that club again. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't there yet, homie. Maybe later. Yeah, Maybe yeah, later. yeah, 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 yeah. You're not at shitting on yeah. seats yet. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's like some Dane Cook early two thousands shit. Yeah. He's like, all these seats are covered in shit, but I'm Dan Cook. And that I was, was like, yeah. awful, dude. A big old dude. That's so, I can't poop. believe. But like at the same time, and this is gonna sound so weird. 
if it wasn't shit, it probably felt good to squeeze something like that, right? Yeah, it would have been like a <laughs> like a you know like a, those Japanese uh, stress balls. Yeah, that's know? what I asked, just to... but like Tommy Hilfiger shit balls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's like the brand new product that comes out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the shit balls. Hey, quarantine's tough, but try squeezing this boxer filled shit. Have you had a have you heard shit of Tommy boxer. Hillfinger shit balls? <laughs> shit balls. Of Tommy Hillfinger. No shit that? in it. Oh shit. Hillfinger. <laughs> Finger? Finger. Finger. He'll figure. Tommy figure. He'll figure. He'll figure. He'll figure. <laughs> he'll figure it out someday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, oh, yeah, yeah. that was a good one, dude. Anyways, Thanks, I love bro. you. Uh, did I say your name yet, Patrick Quinn? Everybody, I did, right? <laughs> I don't know if you did actually. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize we'll, it either. I'll tag you. It's in okay. Here. Pat this was Quinn, super fun, man. Very funny comic. Very good buddy. Good dude. I love you, bro. I'm on a pee pee. That was a that was a banger. That was a banger. I had a good time, man. Thank you. Thank Is you, that what Craig. I said earlier, that was the callback. Remember the cheers to you. I said to you. To I you. Can't even do callbacks <laughs> right. God damn. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you. Peace, Thanks, bro. I'd like to thank our another sponsor, Sticker Supreme. Made me loosey goosey part uh, stickers and and, dry, and mushroom baggies and uh, park rangers from a viral bit, and they are awesome. Look up Sticker Supreme if you need stickers. I appreciate them uh, and all the help they've given me in my career and stickers and whatnot. And also a shout out to Care by Design. CBD care by design. They gave me gobs, gobs of product, tons of product that I shared with my anxiety riddled comedian friends. And I regret it because now I'm out and I went to go buy it and I didn't realize how expensive this shit was. Anyways, I would like to thank them for all the goodies they have given me in the past and how much it helped me with my anxiety. And if you do trouble, have I said do trouble <laughs> if you do have trouble forgot have forgot have trouble with anxiety care by design 18 to 1 pills and oil if you're sober it helped me a great deal you do not get got high <sighs> you do not get guy <laughs> you do not get high even though I've, I've I can't talk um you don't get high and it just relieves stress and it's nice it's a nice alternative also if you're a drug addict Maybe you don't need nothing, but you know, <laughs> I'm almost seven years sober and it's helped me tremendously and has also helped out other sober people tremendously and has also met, made other sober people relapse. So take that with a grain of salt, sober motherfuckers. Be careful. For me, it's helped me a great fucking deal. So thank you, Care By Design. I appreciate you and all the goodies you've given me in the past. And now I have to pay for them. <laughs> God, what the shit in the balls. Looks like too much coffee and anxiety it is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, bye-bye. I bid you adieu.